All right, we are live. So this is Armin Navabi from Atheist Republic, and you are? Um, my name's Emma, otherwise known as Banana Warrior Princess on YouTube. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I don't know what to say really. I mean, I guess I was label myself as an atheist as well, but I don't really label myself as such, but um, I understand where you're coming from there. Um, and yeah, I'm also a vegan. Um, I, don't, I don't really label myself as such either, but I do talk about it quite a lot on my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so what, what is your YouTube channel mostly about then? Um, I mainly do sort of um, street activism where I go out on the streets and just talk to people um, by using sort of the Socratic method, so just by asking them questions to make them think um, so about, about the, veganism. Oh, mostly about veganism? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, all of it about veganism, essentially. Okay. Yeah. S okay, so you consider yourself an activist when it comes to veganism? I guess so, yeah. I suppose you would call me that, yeah. And not vegetarianism, right? You're, you're like, no. no. So, okay. And you think that atheism and veganism are very much related, right? I would say so, yeah. How so? Because most people say atheism is, is just a lack of belief in God and nothing else. So. I think that... Go on. I think... Yeah. Oh, I've got an echo. Hang on a sec. Well, you yeah. have to close the YouTube if you wanted to get rid of the echo. And if it's on your phone, you could maybe yes, you click it. Yeah, close that down. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, so basically, the way I think they're related is in that I actually think that people that if you know about the dairy and the meat industry and the atrocities there, you know that it's going on and you justify it by saying it's either normal, necessary or natural. I think though that belief is unfounded and I think it's faith based, basically, because I can't, for any reason, I, I can't justify why it would be normal to, normal to eat animals that don't want to die, essentially. I can't say that it's ne necessary because I'm living proof that you can live without animals, you know, you can survive without animals, so it's not necessary. And I would say that you can't use a naturalistic fallacy to say that it's okay to cause suffering to another animal either. So by saying, you know, like, I would, I would cl classify that as the term, the umbrella term of carnism, which is a belief system that is either normal, necessary, or natural to eat animals, and their um, pro their animal products as well. Um, okay. So, so your argument is that because people that usually defend, um, you know, eating animal products, use naturalism, the naturalistic fallacy, or use the um, argument from popularity, and also the same argument that so like for example religious people use that as well and also the argument that it's necessary you're basically kind of suggesting that it's similar to like meat eaters like me if they use these excuses it's kind of the same as it's similar to a religion is that what you're is that what you're suggesting essentially yeah because it's 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 faith-based it, it, i would argue that it is faith-based um it's not grounded in any um you know, it, it's not if it's not grounded in your own ethics. If like if you if you believe it's okay to inflict suffering onto another sentient being, mm -hmm. then the, you're not sane, basically. So uh, you know, if you're going to say that you know human life is valuable, mm -hmm. then I believe that you should extend that to animals, unless you can distinguish animals from humans in a way that is meaningful. I.e., you know, it can't just be for arbitrary reasons like we look different from them. So, what is your view on on people that eat meat and or and other animal products? What what do you think? Do you think they're all uh, evil or mm. monsters, or what do you or what do you what are your views on them? Generally, like just most of the public, the most of the people that I speak to um, from conducting my interviews and my activism, they just don't know. Mm. We just because we've been raised, we've been conditioned from birth to think it's okay and acceptable to exploit animals for food, clothing for cosmetics, for, you know. What are some of the main arguments you get in defense of what they what they do? Um, I mean, it's it's usually to do with, you know, okay, it's natural to eat animals. Um, lions, lions eat other animals, other eaters, animals eat other animals, therefore it's okay. But I think it's something like 70, 80% of animals are actually herbivorous. <laughs> So that's not true. And just because um, 
you know, just because some animals eat other animals doesn't necessarily mean that we need to. And we're, in, you know, there's also the intelligence argument as well. Like we are more intelligent mm. than those lesser beings, therefore it's okay. But you know, you can't say that. You know, if a human is less intelligent than you, you have to say the same about that human. Um, well, those okay. are the, those are just yeah. Those are two of the reasons. But there's 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 hundreds <laughs> that I've heard. So, I'm 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 going to try some other arguments, and you tell me sure. if they're original or if you've never heard them before. Okay. Okay. It's like a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's my argument. Right. So sure. I don't think that you know when it comes to morality. I don't care if somebody is a human or not, or something is a human or not. What I care about is their their capacity for suffering, right? So yeah. I would care about a pig more than a fetus human, because yeah. a fetus human doesn't have the capacity to suffer, but a pig does, right? However, when I look at a pig, I try to only, or or a horse or a I don't know, cow, I don't, I think we should give it as much as it appreciates and nothing more. For example, I think humans, chimpanzees, dolphins, whales, and elephants, and crows apparently, I don't know, are self-aware. And no other animal is. So that doesn't mean that they can't suffer and feel pain but that does mean that they have no understanding of their own existence, right? So as much as, because they experience pain, we should do as much as we can to make sure that they don't experience pain, even though, even maybe sometimes um, more than humans, because apparently some of them could feel more pain than humans, right? Mm -hmm. But when it comes to not killing them, I don't see that as, I don't see why we shouldn't kill them, given if we could kill them without pain, given that they have no appreciation for the fact that they're alive. I don't think I'm robbing an, an, a conscious being that has no appreciation of the fact that it's alive. I don't think you're robbing it of anything if you kill it, as long as you do it without inflicting any pain. What are your thoughts on that? First yeah, of all, have you heard that before? Um, I have kind of like sort of the same argument, yeah. And is that your view? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I will. I will build on that. Yeah. And um, and so, are you saying that cows, pigs, and chickens aren't aware of themselves? Of their own existence. Of their own existence. They, did, for example, they they are aware of the chick existence of a chicken right next to them. They mm -hmm. are aware of the food that you put right in front of them. They're, they're aware of um, the pain, the feeling that pain that you're inflicting on them. They can clearly experience that and know that it's there. But they have no conception of I, you know. They have no understanding of, they have no understanding of what it means yeah. to be. Right, so that's what they define. So you can be conscious and not self-aware at the same time. So only a few animals are self-aware. Most of the mammals, but apparently some birds are also self-aware. And I think that therefore, if you kill an elephant or a chimpanzee, or you know a dolphin, that that would be, you know, a crime because they had an appreciation for being alive. In fact, there were studies done that when it was explained to a chimpanzee, I think the concept of death, it, it actually became depressed. I don't know how accurate those research methods were, but that's what I've heard. But I think if you're killing a fish or a pig, what my main concern is, and I've seen videos of how they do it in some places in Canada. They put something right at the back of the neck, and they, you don't even see it coming, right? Uh, and it, the cow dies without absolutely without any pain. I am aware of the I'm aware that you know some mothers in you know, animals feel a lot of suffering when you separate them for, from their children, and I think that should be the main focus of our activism for if it comes to animal rights is to focus on not letting 
you know, mothers like that suffer from taking their children away. Not I'm against, for example, halal meat in Islam because it's extremely cruel compared to some of the new newer ways that we kill animals. And I think if us, if meat eaters and non-meat eaters and vegans and vegetarians and everybody else united and focus their attention on reducing suffering on animals, that would be a more major impact because I do think that the animal rights activists have alienated themselves from the public by trying to get everybody not to eat meat. But I think if the focus was on reducing suffering, it might have been more, we, we would have, have achieved so much by now. What do you think about that? So your argument is that if they aren't aware of themselves, therefore it's okay, it's ethical to kill them? Yes. So it's ethical to kill someone that isn't aware of their own sentience? Yeah, for example, a human that is in a hospital and is in a vegetative se um, situation, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a crime to pull the plug on them, right? So I don't do think you you're committing murder. I don't yeah. think, I mean, I don't know what how you define murder, but I don't, I don't, I think they already, if they're not, if a human that is not self-aware, it's um, killing them is not, is not rubbing any, except in the fact that, let's say, um, somebody else has an emotional attachment to that human in a vegetative state, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it, irrationally, if you kill that person, you're hurting that person that is still self-aware, then in that case, I would be against that as well. So, for example, like if you, I would be against killing a pig if that's going to cause emotional harm to other pigs, right? So, you know, th th I would be against that as well, right? So, I did what what I consider moral or not moral is by the amount of pain and suffering that you're that one is causing or yeah. avoiding, right? So okay. you actually you're absolutely sure that these animals aren't self-aware? Well, I'm not sure about anything. Right. Okay. So you're, not, you're, you're not sure. No, we're not sure. Any okay. decisions that we make in life is based yeah. on the best information. So if 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 we go about what we're sure about, I don't. E I'm not even sure if I'm going to live to by Ooh. the end of the day, right? But I'm not going to make decisions based as if today is my last day, given that I'm not going to. Given that I'm not sure that I'm going to die today or not. I'm going to make decisions based on the best information that we have available. There's nothing in life yeah. that is sure, right? I yeah. Think. So. Yeah. But I mean, I'm I'm not sure that God exists. Should I still worship God? Exactly. That's my point. <laughs> that's my point. My point is that we can't 100% prove anything, but I'm not yeah. going to go worship God. But, but on the based on the based on the best information available, that's ex yeah. so extremely unlikely that I'm not going to waste my time on it, right? So, so what, I. What um, just to answer your question, um, what do you think we have in common with cows, pigs, and chickens? The capacity to suffer. That's what I'm concerned about yeah. reducing the suff their their pain, right? And so, do you think we have? Um, do you think they have a full range of other emotions as well? I I love empathy. Yeah, I, I'm pretty jealousy. sure. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why while they're alive, we have to make we have to provide them with a, um, you know a good life we can't just put them in cages that are so mm. suffocating them we can't just you know move them around in ships in a way that is so yeah. so cruel you know we can't we can't you know we have to while and that's because that's because you wouldn't want that to be inflicted upon yourself right you want that kind of not just treatment on yourself even if i could even if i didn't care about my no, I think it's not that. It's just even even if I was incapable of suffering, for example, in a hypothetical mm -hmm. situation, I still wouldn't want another um, human or any other animal to be able to suffer. I think just uh, suffering is just uh, I have a distaste for suffering, not just for myself, yeah. but for any other th any sure. any other thing that could suffer, right? And, and that's because you have, um, as a human being, you have the capacity for empathy. Is that correct? Right. So do animals. Yeah. So do some animals. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Not yeah. all of them, but some of them. And do you be? Do you believe that 
um, morality is based on empathy as a as sort of like a, a moral baseline should be based on empathy um i mean yeah well morality um for me is the redu reduction of suffering and the increase of well-being as much as possible right yeah. so i don't know uh, empathy, so empathy empathy essentially yeah. empathy fuels the, uh, our motivation to achieve those goals yeah so if you wouldn't want it done to you therefore you can't justify doing it to another sentient being right no this is what i'm saying i'm saying that for example let's say that I found out that there's another source of suffering for animals that we as humans do not have, right? Just because we as humans do not experience that doesn't mean that it's okay to do that to, to those animals. You know what I mean? I'm just saying they don't have, it doesn't have to be similar to me for me to understand that this does or doesn't cause suffering, right? So um, similarity is not necessary as long as we understand how their brain works and what causes them suffering and what doesn't cause them suffering, that's what most important. Let's say I was a, like I, for some from, you know, with computers and stuff, they made it so that, that I was incapable of suffering, right? Just because mm -hmm. I am now incapable of, incapable of suffering, it doesn't mean that I should stop caring about other conscious being suffering. So similarity is not an important, it's not an issue. It's different. We have to ex examine the brain and see what's the source of their desires and their suffering and act accordingly. And I think that's that's why you say like something. I don't want something to be done to me. Like yeah. Then therefore, I think the argument is if I don't want to be killed, therefore I should want that for other animals as well. But I'm saying our brains are different. If I appreciate being alive, you know that's why for humans. So that's why for suicidal humans, right, I think they have okay. the right to take their own life. I'm not going to force them to stay alive just because so I want to stay alive. Right. Somebody that, somebody that, a sentient being that does want to stay alive, are you saying it's ethical to kill them no. if they don't have a, a self-awareness concept? No, I, that's my point. No, I'm saying if they, if they, if they, are, if they don't have a self-aware concept, they can't want to be alive because they don't have to any understanding of what I means. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so how do you explain um, empathy in animals then towards other animals? Exactly, that's my point. A chicken understands the existence of the chicken right next to it. A pig understands the existence of, its, of her children. But, you know, so a cat, for example, if another cat starts attacking it, it's completely aware of the existence of this other cat, cat that is attacking it. Yeah. Or, but, and how not, do, but not itself. How do, they, how, how do they um, understand empathy? How do they experience empathy without knowing um, that because, they are themselves? Because empathy is a feeling towards another, not to yourself. Do you understand? So no, when, I would argue that because I wouldn't want to experience that, therefore I don't want another person to experience that. When, well, when I, okay, so when I feel empathy, the subject of empathy is not me. The subject of empathy. I don't. I don't think that uh, there's. I reason my empathy. You know, empathy. You, you just empathy is just uh, something you feel because it made evolutionary sense for you to feel it, right? So, so many social animals have it because it made it, it made evolutionary sense for animals to take care of each other instead of just fighting for your survival as as an individual when it comes to animals that lived in tribes this feeling was a um had evolutionary benefits so that the tribe takes care of each other right so this is not something like that i feel like oh i should love my wife because or i should love i should help these children because i would want somebody to help me if I was in that situation. No, I don't think about it like that. I just, when you feel somebody well, in distress, yeah. you just feel that it's, that's a shitty situation and you just feel sad for them because you feel empathy. You don't put- Because you wouldn't like, want it to be done to you to yourself. Every time I've experienced empathy is because I wouldn't want it done to myself. I don't, I don't- So I think we're coming at it at two different things here. I mean- I don't I feel it that way. I don't Most people it. would agree, most people would agree that empathy comes from, um, not wanting another person or another being to experience, huh. you you can you can visualize it for yourself. And therefore, you would want it to be inflicted onto another person. 
I think many people would agree with me on that. Okay. So, so okay. Yeah. So that's, I just, I just think like, I just think that when it comes to, I don't, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I just feel like, for example, if you're in a plane and you see this old lady can't put up her luggage uh, in the bin, right? It, it's not like I'm sitting there and feel like, hmm, if I was old and I couldn't put the, my luggage there and it was too heavy for me, I would want somebody to help me. Therefore, I should get up and help this lady. I think what goes in my w mind might be like, oh, she needs help. That's, a, you know, that's too heavy for her. I should help her, right? I don't think I go think about the logic of what I would want in that situation. To, you know, I just feel like that's shitty that, that she's picking up heavy stuff and mm -hmm. I just feel the urge to go help her because it's just a feeling that just... Because you've had experiences in your life when you've been in shitty situations where you could have done with a hand. It's all mm -hmm. coming from experience. No, I think, I think it, it's just hardwired in our brain to feel empathy. I think. Hot wired in your brain, how do you mean? Like, I think that our brain, for example, if you have some child that was never, you know, I think I saw experiments with children that were completely isolated in the jungle and raised without any edu anybody taking care of them. But when they showed them videos of humans being in distress, it's still, if, if, it still impacted, right? Even without okay. you understanding torture, the first time you feel so, you hear somebody screaming in pain, that's mm -hmm. stressful, even with no experience of it, because your mind, your brain is hardwired in a in a way okay. for you to care about suffering, and that and you get joy out of seeing other people happy, and you suffer from seeing other people suffering. You know what I mean? Okay, let's say that let's say that empathy is based on. Um, I, I don't know, not um, experience it for yourself then and not, it's not based on putting yourself in that person's shoes. It's just based on, I don't know, some kind of hot wiring in your brain or whatever. Let's, let's, let's go with that argument. Okay. Um, can you answer th this question? Is it therefore okay to kill somebody who doesn't want to die? Um, if let's say um, like a comparative um, human equivalent of a cow or a chicken or a pig, if somebody was uh, sentience was reduced to that of a cow, a, pig, a chicken, or a, uh, a pig, yeah. Right. Um, therefore, they didn't have any, um, like they didn't have any form of future concepts or um, any self awareness. I.e., a mentally retarded person, somebody that is right. lacking in that area, that, you know, cognitively in their brain. Right. Would it be ethical to kill them because they don't, they don't have those qualities? Well, yeah, that's a very good question. I think that um, in that situation, right, we there's two things that becomes problematic, right? First of all, um, most people have loved ones that you are inflicting pain on them by killing somebody, right? And also, I think when it comes to build, making laws, we can't, my argument, is not gonna fly for most people because most people don't think about these things the way me and you are thinking about them. So law, laws are also about practicality, right? So you have to, when we, we they can't they can't make a law that allows killing humans, right? Just because. Hang they don't on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. Is it moral or is it not moral to kill it's, a? Mentally retarded person because they don't mentally have retarded. Okay, mentally retarded. I don't know what the definition of that is, but I'm pretty sure they are self-aware and they are uh, somebody that's not self-aware. Then, okay, somebody that is not self-aware yeah. and has. I think most of us would be in distress to see somebody like that killed. Right. So you are you are inflicting pain on people around them to do that to them. You know what I mean? Well, let's just say they are example, an orphan and nobody cares about them. Well, I mean, if as Is a human, to kill them? no, no, because as a human, you killing another human, you are. Let me for, let me give you two examples, right? For example, well, let's, I, let's let's go, let's go with my hypothetical because yeah, easy. I'm going to give you why it's not moral. Okay. I'm going to give you two right. examples of why it's not moral. First of all, for example, if I kill your cat, right? for no reason, 
that's a shitty thing to do. Even though the cat, and I, if I kill it in a way that that had no impact on the cat in, when it comes to so pain, right? I did. I, I did. This is the wrong thing to do for many reasons. First of all, I made you sad. But let's say the cat had no owner, um, and nobody will miss the cat. Second, here's the thing: I am developing a psychopathic. I'm. I'm. Act, I'm practicing something that has no like killing for no reason at all right that's that means that yeah it's a psychopathic right so that i'm exercising something in myself that makes me a shitty person do you know what i mean like if i was if i was hungry and this cat was available and there's nothing else available, and I killed it, that would not be immoral. But if I just killed it just for, for the sake of killing it, that's starting to go on the site, you know, starting to, because even if that cat- so you mean not, killing, for, killing for survival? Yeah, so even, it, even if that cat is not experiencing a loss, right, I am experiencing a loss, and that's the, you know, the act of killing, it's, brewing some sense of violence in me, which is not helpful at all, you know, to allow that sense of violence in me. You know, for example, mm -hmm. here's for example, let's say here's if there was, so, if, if I was on an island, right, and there was another human right next to me, and this human had, they put something in his brain, like they drilled something in his brain, and he had, he or she had no sense of self-awareness, right? Mm -hmm. And I would, in that situation, I would feel, I should feel not guilty. I probably would still because I'm hardwired to feel. I should not feel to, to kill that human and eat him or her, right? If I was on the island and- And it was not, there's no other options. There was no other options, right? Okay. Um, because, you know, in that situation- But we're not in that environment, are we? No. So in that, yeah. because because we're not in that environment, I would not want to kill cats or humans, even though they have no appreciation of self awareness, because that's how do you know they have no appreciation of self awareness? Well, how I mean, can you be so sure? Because if they can, have, if they have the subjective experience of pain and suffering, love right. and empathy, how can they have that without self awareness? How well, can they know that they're experiencing pain without self-awareness? It just does not make sense. And I think Steven Pinker goes into this in one of his books. What does he say? That what you can... <laughs> Do you want me to... I think he... Quote, I, think, I think when I saw... Uh, I think he, he also mentioned in his podcast with Sam Harris that mm -hmm. only some animals are, are self-aware. Or did I hear him say that, say that somewhere else? I mean, I think this so far, I'm not, and when you ask me, how could you be sure? I already mentioned that there's absolutely nothing other than my own existence that I'm absolutely 100% sure about, right? But I'm not going to ju go jump out the window for the mere chance that I might fly, right? I'm going to yeah, so go based on probability, okay. not based so on are you, are you certainty. saying? Right. Are you saying that you're not certain? that they do possess uh, self-awareness. So there is a slight chance that they could possess self-awareness. Yeah, is that correct? There's, slight, there's a slight chance for anything. Okay, so if there's a slight chance that they could um, perceive their own self-awareness, surely in the balance of probability, you should not consume the balance their of probability, no, um, Well, in the balance like, of probability, there could be a god. So why are you not worshipping god right now? Because there's no evidence to say that God exists. Exactly. Right. So there's no but they, evidence. But, the thing is, but, but they do share. Animals do share the qualities uh, with us that, that they can experience the subjective experience of pain and suffering. Yeah, just that's like I can. Do. This way, we I should. wouldn't want to inflict that pain and suffering onto other sentient beings. So therefore, right. I'm not going to do it because I wouldn't want that same pain and suffering for myself, regardless if I ha if I was self-aware or not. Right. To be honest, if I if I didn't have um, self awareness concepts, right, pain and suffering is still gonna hurt exactly. Me, you know? and exactly. That's why I think we should focus on F our efforts on removing pain and suffering in the process of killing animals. That's what we should our activism should be. And I think if we do that, then we then then, then the vegans and animal rights activists will have more allies, and it, they will be able to get this done. 
because here's the thing and there's another animal that is not always rational and they are humans right and when you uh, can, I, can we just can we just go back to the um, okay. self-awareness thing because I'm not quite done okay um what do you think about pigs being um, as intelligent as no, the intelligence, intelligence and self-awareness are two different things, right? So pigs are very intelligent, and dogs are, and dogs are very intelligent, but they're not self-aware. I think they might even be more intelligent than whales uh, and elephants. But elephants and whales are self-aware, even though they're less intelligent than dogs and pigs, right? And this is not me saying this. I think this is, as of yeah, right now, is is established you know, scientific understanding right. of it. And I'm, I'm very ready to change my opinions of anything as soon as new scientific data shows otherwise. By the way, we should also look at the questions that people are putting in. Yeah, and I, just, yeah. I just wanted to ask you the question right. again. So if you didn't have, uh, sorry, if um, a person didn't have a self-awareness concept, would it be ethical to kill them? Um, I've, if necessary, Yes, if necessary. Okay, but if it was wasn't necessary. If it was necessary, then you, if you're killing just for the sake of killing, then this is this is okay. a practicing violence for no reason, right? So we're killing animals for no reason other than taste pleasure. Well, we, let's go into that as well, right? So okay, but, but can you just answer my question though before we move on? Is it, well, it, that, is it ethical that, to kill that person? I am. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm suggesting, right? Yeah. So, so is it is that yes or no then? Is it yes ethical or no unethical to kill that person that doesn't have the self awareness concept? Yes or no? Um, if it's if it's unnecessary, completely unnecessary, then then it would go become un unethical. Yes. It's, so it's unethical to kill somebody yeah, who doesn't really die. It's absolutely yeah. unnecessary. But I do think that... So, food, so, so, that so meat therefore... Right now, therefore meat so, right, well, okay, so first of all, let me go into the health impact. Well, well no, can I just finish off what I was going to say first, and then we'll go into the health? Because you're saying it's unethical to kill um, that person without the self-awareness concept, right? If it's absolute, because, if it's absolutely if it, it, unnecessary. Yeah, if it's unnecessary, it's Absolutely. unethical to kill that person right. without the self-awareness concept. Right. Therefore, um, you need to distinguish between that human that doesn't have that self-awareness concept and the, the livestock animals that don't have the self-awareness concept. Yeah. You need to distinguish, distinguish See, in a way that's I meaningful. It, I think a, a chimpanzee is, is more important to me to save his or her life more than a human that has completely lost his self-awareness. That's what I would say. Because chimpanzees and dolphins and whales and elephants, just like us, have self awareness. So if it comes between, so, so if it comes between a chimpanzee and a human that has absolutely no self awareness, and they say we have to kill one of these two without pain, I would go with the human that has no self awareness. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because self awareness. Yeah, that's fair enough. All right. If so, somebody, yeah, somebody's got. Okay. Right. So. But how? But, but going back to my question, though. Yeah. Um, As of right now, a lot of the planet is being fed by meat, and a lot of humans are dying from starvation. Well, right? Yeah, we, we, so can talk, we, can, choose... we can talk about that, but I just want to go back to what we were talking about before because I don't think we've quite finished that point yet. Okay, Would sorry. That be okay? Yeah, so you, just, sorry, just remind me what we were saying. You were saying that um it's it would be inconsistent well basically what you alluded to everything you said pointed to do it to the direction that you're inconsistent in your belief system because you're saying it's uh, it would be unethical to kill um that human unnecessarily um that didn't possess that self-awareness concept but it is ethical to kill an animal with no self-awareness concept in uh, if it was unnecessary i.e taste pleasure so to, can you see there's a double standard there well, I'm not, well, here's the thing. I, I'm not eating animals just for, if somebody is saying it is just because of the taste, I would agree with right. you that it's wrong. Okay, so um, if, if let's just for argument's sake that say that it is unethical. Uh, sorry, it is um, unnecessary. Would you right. agree that? If you, if you could show that it's unnecessary, then I would say it's unethical. But, yeah. okay, but, only, but do you know who it's being unethical to? I don't think it's being unethical to the animals because just just like just like when I if I kill a human for no reason mm -hmm. uh, because they're on self aware I think I'm being unethical to myself because instead of developing because just the act of killing 
is increasing my sense of violence, my pleasure for violence, and my sense of pain. I'm not developing. I'm not developing the sense of compassion and sympathy in me, and instead, I'm, I'm exercising um, things that, imp even though my mind knows that this human has no self-awareness, mm -hmm. my body is going through things that evolutionary I would recognize as causing harm to something else, and by doing that practice. Mm -hmm. I'm actually increasing, um, I make normalizing violence for my mind. And that's being unkind to myself because that's not a very fulfilling life to live. So I think if, if it was unnecessary to kill animals, absolutely unnecessary, which I don't think right, as of right now, it is unnecessary because a lot of the planet is feeding on it and people, humans are already starving. But if it was absolutely unnecessary, the people that we are harming in that situation, the, the, the animals or humans that we are harming in that situation, are the people that we are making to go through the process of killing. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, uh, do you think that people that work in slaughterhouses are compassionate, kind people? Exactly. That's <laughs> on the I'm killing saying. floor. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm saying that it, if it was absolutely unnecessary, the crime wouldn't be towards the cow because the crowd didn't just lose anything, I think the crime would be towards the people that we're putting in the position of slaughtering cows. Well, my position is that you need to be consistent within your own belief system, because if you wouldn't kill that human, then therefore, why are you killing the animal? The same well, I think, I think I've, I've been uh, consistent. Capacity? Well, I think I've been consistent, because I'm saying when I kill a human for, for the fact that they are not self-aware, I think what I have done is I have harmed my mind i have removed the op opportunity for my mind to become more compassion and it and, le and less mm -hmm. violent so because i think that would be a crime to me more than to that person that has no understanding of what it means to be alive in the same way i think what we are the people that it okay first of all i'm not talking about slaughterhouses where the cows are being um in, put in horrible situation in that case the main crime is towards the cows right but i'm saying even in a situation where the cows are not suffering, if your job on a daily basis is to go put a bullet at the back of a cow and watch them drop on the floor every day, I do think that's not a very healthy way to live. And right? by killing that cow, you're um, basically not allowing that to cow to have any sort of future or well-being. Or, so, you know, see their babies. That, you know, well, okay, that, that's a fair point. I think that if you are, it, it, so here's the thing. Here's one thing else that you're, you might be robbing the cow of. If you kill a cow at a young age, even though it had no appreciation for self-awareness, what you have done is you have robbed the cow of a full life, right? But on the other hand, if you kill the meat industry, that cow wouldn't be there either, so you also have robbed that cow from a full life. You know what I mean? So, so um, you need to, are you saying it's okay to breed, um, by the same logic, it's okay to breed a slave into existence because they're going to have some kind of life, even if it was a really good life and they're still a slave? No, being because, exploited, because they've, got slave, an they've got an exploit, um, an ex. No, because a slave has an appreciation. Because a slave has an appreciation. Well, first of all, like I said, the cow should, you know, if you, the slave has an appreciation for being free, right? So that would not be moral. But what I'm saying, if I was in the position of the cow and I had two choices, one world without a meat industry that I would not exist in, and one world with a meat industry that I would be born, mm -hmm. but I would have a life on a nice farm, full life, get old, not be mistreated, and then the, close to the end of it, somebody kills and eats me, right? Between those two la worlds, I'll choose the latter. How old would you be then? I don't a, know. For, you, say, you say like a full life, because for, for a dairy cow, it's only about five years, and they're supposed to live for 25 years, so. Right, so. So if, what, what do you mean a full life? So yeah, and maybe maybe How many years maybe, they, maybe for when it, here's the thing when when we're fighting for activism for making sure animals are treated well, those are some of the questions that I would be asking. But I think it's in, unpractical to live, to fight for a world without the meat industry, right? And also, what do you mean? What do you mean? But, but let me just finish my thought. Even 
also for for I don't know a cow at five is a human at what? What is I it? No idea. Uh, let's say um, let's say thirty or twenty, right? I Even think it's it's uh, well by five they are dropping off their milk production. Okay. Because they're, they're they're like constantly. Let's pregnant, say a so. human twenty. Even if I had the choice between a world that had no meat industry, and I did not exist in it, and a world that had a meat industry, and I lived in it, and I wasn't mistreated, and I killed and I was killed without suffering at age twenty, right? For my life, between those two worlds. I would choose the latter. But do you think it would be ethical to, um, if you knew See, that you're going to be dying at 20, do you think that would be ethical? So I, I, my philosophy is based on consequences, not by principles, right? So it's not like, oh, this right. is wrong. My philosophy is mostly based on consequences, not by principles. Do you know what I mean? Right. So, I'm, yeah, so, I look, no. so I look at, uh, my, my goal is to reduce, it's not like, don't do this because this is wrong and this is defined as wrong, as defined as right, right? I say all we're doing is trying to reduce suffering and incre increase happiness, right? So you can Yeah, say well, I would, go, I would go one step further and say that animals have rights before, you know, that we get to the suffering stuff. I think right. they do so, have yes. a right so, to life, yeah. Well, I, have, I think they should have only a right... If they have a nurse self-aware, they should have a right to... A lack of pain. That's what I would fight for. Not not life. Do you know what I mean? So they you're saying so you say essentially saying they don't deserve the right to life. They don't deserve the right to life. Yeah, because they don't care, they don't appreciate. They don't have okay. they ha they have no appreciation for life. So they so you're saying, I... don't, so they're saying you're saying they don't deserve the right to life, correct? Yes. Okay. So but they the, do, the, but the human they do so have, the... but they do have a right to being pain free because they okay. do appreciate because they do. Yeah, I understand all that. I understand all that. Yeah, yeah they do appreciate pain and suffering, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but you're saying they don't deserve the right to life because they don't have any self awareness concept. Therefore, you'd yeah. have to say the same is true that humans that don't have the self awareness concept don't deserve the right to life either. Correct? I yes, I understand that. Yeah, I I, I, I yes? do. I do, but but. So I that's understand. yes. They don't deserve. Those humans don't deserve the right to life. Yes. A human that has no self awareness. I would do not be fighting. I do not. I would not be fighting for the right to life because they don't care about it. No. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying they don't deserve the right to life. Yeah, but so, I would be. I would be worried would you, about the government trying to take that right so away. So would you from say me. that? Are you? Would you say that on the live stream now? Yeah, I did. I just did. Say it then. I don't. Well, okay. How do you mean? What do you mean? Defi defined right to life. <laughs> Because you're I'm, saying, worried about, saying, I'm worried you're saying about that I'm worried about my words being okay. So because when you talk let's, about rights, let's, when you talk about rights, that's the, that's yeah. the language that a principalist uses, right? Okay. You know, well, uh, I don't know what that means, but when, let's just go for it again, what step by step. Okay? No, because Which, I don't. Here's the thing: I don't want to create principles. <laughs> I look at consequences. But when it comes to creating laws, unfortunately, you can't always just go by consequences because for I understand when in a legal... No, you, you should go by morality and no, empathy no, no. to base laws from. You shouldn't just go by no, because, what the consensus is. Because here's the thing. The, law, the, the legal system cannot doesn't have the capacity to always come and measure the consequences of every single yeah. action, right? Well, I, I, I do want to talk, I do want to talk about this, but I want to go back to but the I human wanna, I wanna the clarify, animal Because I don't think it's like, it's, it's as simple as you, you're putting it in a, you know, binary. So you, so you wouldn't say on, on the live stream that you would say that those can humans I, well, don't can deserve I clarify, the right to life, no? Can I clarify? Right, because so why would you? Why won't you say that? Because those are legal terms, and I understand that. What do you legal, mean legal terms? I don't understand. Well, I'm trying to explain. Okay. All right. So because because my philosophy is based on consequences, and when it comes to giving people's rights and not and taking away rights, those are legal terms, right? And the, okay. Well, let, well, let me clarify. So you're you're appealing to social contracts rather than morality. Well, so. can I can I clarify? Right. And I think is that, that, is that essentially what you're doing? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying to clarify. So what I think is that the legal system can't work based on consequences all the time because the legal system would be very inefficient. It can't come on and measure consequences for every action. So when the legal system, for example, makes stealing illegal no matter what. 
But for me, as as when my philosophy, if you're stealing to feed a child that is dying, that's that's morally okay. But I understand why it's still illegal, right? Why is it morally so, okay? Why is it morally okay? I think if you steal, if if you have no other alternative and you go steal because you're trying to feed a child and there's no mm. other option, I think it's I think morally you were on the right. Right, yeah. but so I you're, so you're using you're using but, empathy there, yeah. But yeah, but I understand yeah. that why legally the government can come and say, well, we're going to make an exception here, because legally it's not pra practical to always work based on consequences. The legal system is based on principles rather than consequences, right? So when you when you give rights and you take rights, it should be based on con based on principles and. You know, you build rules, and it unfortunately becomes sometimes has unintended consequences, and you should take those consequences into effect. I don't. Uh, so, when it comes to saying like, should humans have the right to live or not, right? I understand that when you say when you use the word right, that's a legal term. For me, consequentially, if you if somebody dies that had no self awareness, I don't think there was anything lost there unless you created emotional distress to yourself in the act of doing it or to other people. But legally, I understand that you have to give rights to certain entities and just make an umbrella statement about something because the consequences of the removing those rights might create loopholes or consequences that creates a world where none of us want to live in, right? So practical for practical, I look at practicality of laws, not just the philosophy of consequentialism. You understand? And that's why so I'm you're, very so you're, you're, the word. That's why I want to keep talking about whether. Yeah. I, I just want to clarify. I don't want to talk about, about rights because that's legal terms. I do want to talk about what creates more suffering and less suffering. I don't want to walk into that to that side because I don't understand laws and I don't want to take away the rights because that might actually create open a Pandora's box that you never first foresaw, right? But why do you but, need a legal but, system but, to give but, people to give entities rights? Rights is a legal term. But why do you need a legal system to be able to, to allow people Because to without with that with that without somebody upholding your rights, your rights mean nothing. Right? Without somebody like a right to free speech means nothing if there's not a government with holding back people that will come kill you for your for saying something. You need a force as powerful as a government to uphold your rights or else your rights are meaningless. Rights is not this super, like religious people make rights seem like this godly thing that exists ever, always, without anybody giving it to you. But in the real world, you understand that rights are taken away and rights are given to you by powerful forces such as government, right? For example, here in Canada, I have the right to free to free speech, but in Iran, I don't, right? That doesn't mm -hmm. mean that there's a universal right to free speech. In Canada, you have it. In Iran, you don't. So it's something, so should, a, a right should, is given to you and taken away from you. So it, it's not something that exists within our essence. You know what I mean? Okay, so you want me to use a different word? Yeah. Other than rights. Yeah. What would that word be then? I think you. What I try to say is, it reducing harm or is it not reducing harm? That's what I would say. Right. That's what I care about. Reducing harm. Right. right? Not rights. Well, uh, yeah. But, I, I mean, but, I but here's another example. I the thing is, it, no, 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 no. But I just want to go back to the human example, though, because I don't think we really. I want to give you a human example too. Finish that. Um, I want to give a human example. For example, let's say a human that wants to die. In many countries, suicide is illegal. In Canada, now we have the right for you, for you to die with dignity, and suicide has become a legal right. So, for example, if you say people shouldn't die, humans should not be killed, now in Canada, that's not the case. In Canada, if you want to die, the government provides you with a doctor to kill you. Right? How is this relevant to? Animals? So what I'm saying, killing sometimes is if if you if you as a human have no mm -hmm. appreciation for your life and you want to end it, right? Because you have no appreciation for your life, it's not immoral for somebody to provide that death to you, even as a human, even as a self-aware human. 
Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand how this relates to animal so because, rights. So because what I'm pointing out is what matters if whether if somebody, whether removing life from somebody is a harm or not, is the fact that they, whether or not they have an appreciation for being alive or not. So just like in a human that has no appreciation for being alive, it's not a crime to take their life, right? Just like suicidal people that ha that have no, no other options. And no. I, just like that, uh, for animals that also have no appreciation for being alive, it's not a, it's, it shouldn't be wrong to take their life. Just like a human that has no appreciation for being alive. So do you think it should be legal to kill humans that don't have an appreciation for life? Well, in Canada, it is now. In Canada, if you're suicidal, they provide you with a doctor that gives that provides you with an easy, self, uh, easy, pain-free way. You think to... that's, you think that's ethical? Do you think that's like a progressive move? Yes, I think so. I mean, you know, you think that, you know, think that... my mom died. My mom died from cancer, and she was begging for the doctors to kill her because she was in, so, under so much suffering. Oh, yeah, that, well, that's different. I mean, if you're in so much pain that, and you're terminally ill, I mean, that's different for someone that's a bit depressed. Not a bit, okay, a bit depressed is different from not having any appreciation for life, right? So in Canada, if you're just a bit depressed, they have to, you know, they provide you alternative ways before they just, before, I, and before you say no. I think we're getting off track life. here. Okay, go ahead. I think we're getting off track here with, the, like, with the animal context. Right. I don't really right. see how this is relating to veganism. Well, because we're talking about whether it's okay to kill or not kill and um, it's conscious being that have appreciation for life. That was the top. So that's how I brought it up. So you're saying it is ethical to kill people without a, a, a appreciation for life now, as opposed to self-awareness concept. Self-awareness concept. Yeah. Because before and, you were saying self-awareness concept. The word, the word, he, he, he did, it's, it's very, it's very interesting the words that we use because um, you could, I, you know, and, and using different words makes something look okay and not okay. For example, when somebody is suicidal and they ask, you could assist them in dying, you could, I would, like, I could use the word assistant, assisting in death. Somebody else could call that killing. And technically, you're both correct, but one of them sounds incredibly yeah. moral. Well, and the other one sounds kind of okay. <laughs> They're two different contexts, though, really, aren't they? Because in the in that context, in the human context, the person wants to die. In the animal context, they probably don't want to die. Well, and this, I mean, you know, know if, if they've, been, you know if they've been if they've been raised in like really, am I allowed to swear? Yes. If, if they've been raised in like really shitty conditions, like just laying around in their own squalor and they're not even seeing any daylight like twenty four hours a day, and they're just cannibalizing each other because they're just so fucking bored then they probably do want to die you know oh, get okay. done as quickly as possible that's but a if great example that's a great example let's say a pig could talk right yeah and, if a pig could talk would you eat and, them and, and well if what and what if the pig came and told you this is a shitty life please kill me would you kill that pig i'd want to stop the industry to stop it no, from happening in the first no, place no. let's say <laughs> I'm, I'm, you, you? Give me you gave me many hypotheticals. You gave me so many hypotheticals. I'm giving you a, 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 which most of these hypotheticals do not apply to real life, like being on an island, have finding somebody, a human. Yeah, that that's the hard, that's the, the point of hypotheticals. Exactly. They don't have to, they don't have to be realistic. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That I'm I'm saying that because I'm going to make a hypothetical that is not realistic at all. That's so I'm just trying to make yeah. an excuse for because people. Bl I get angry with me when I make yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to give you an easy time, though. You understand. All right. So <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be like a full-on debate. I thought it was just going to be a discussion oh, about veganism. Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> but I yeah, think right. is that are you getting frustrated with me? No, no, no. I'm I'm used to this. Okay, okay. I do this all the time, so but, no worries. Okay, but okay. So, so I thought I think this is a discussion. I think it's a good discussion, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's more like a debate, though, isn't it? Really. Well, Let's debates. This debates are discussions. Okay, okay. No, no, a debate is different to a discussion, I think. All right. So, okay, yeah. let me take it to a different perspective. Go on. To, to yeah. be more friendly. I do think that uh, vegans um, are unfairly vilified because vegans are people that care about reducing suffering. And I think that th that has been... You know their demands have so far in our community has been um, tried to people have made it seem like extremism. People make it seem like 
un, un, um, requests that are unreasonable. And I think that that's very unfair because I, I appreciate all activists that are fighting for something that they believe in reduces pain and suffering in the world, right? Whether they are global rights, act, global warming uh, activists, human rights activists, animal rights activists, um, anti-religious activists, even religion, pro-religion activists that think that religion is the way to go. I appreciate them because they are they are very different from the mass, vast majority of people that don't do anything to make this world a better place, right? You think um, that religious activists are good people? Yeah, I, well, I f if, this, if it's coming, for example, a Muslim, right, that is trying mm -hmm. to save me from hell, if he or she actually believes in hell and thinks that I will die and burn in hell forever, even though I disagree with that person, if, if their activism is coming from a position of kindness to save me from that misfortune, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that because I don't think a lot of atheists are like, oh, keep your religion to yourself. But how could you if you think that these all these people are going to burn forever? You're basically, yeah. in your mind, you're trying to remove the greatest suffering of all, which is eternal torture, right? Yeah, they, so, they really they really but truly believe in what they're saying. So, yes. uh, so they, there is a fear that. there, but, you know, it's, it's ungrounded. It's not rooted it's, in any kind of anything, yes. really. Yeah, but well, well, most, hum most people are not logical, but most people, in my opinion, do have a sense of sympathy. And I appreciate their sense of sympathy, even if it's misplaced, I appreciate that because they actually care, right? But I, I'm not saying vegans are as deluded as people that believe in an afterlife, obviously, I'm not suggesting it. But I'm just saying anybody that cares about suffering and reducing it, these are people should be valued and I'm against this constant attack on vegans, if you disagree with vegans, listen to them and talk to them instead of just trying to dismiss their cases with like, oh, but I love bacon. Like, that's what the fuck is that, right? Or that, not, or saying that vegans are, you know, you know, extreme and they can't stop talking about it. Well, if you put yourself in their shoes right now, if animals are if animals are the same as humans when it comes to appreciation for life, the world's greatest massacre is happening in front of all yeah. our eyes, and nobody is doing shit about it in their point of view. So you have to put yourself in their shoes and have an appreciation for what they're trying to do. I would just um, correct a few things that you said there. Just so okay. that you're not um, misrepresenting my position. Okay. Because you you just said uh, vegans. Now, what was it you said? You said vegans. Uh, think that humans are the same as animals in respect of appreciation for life. I've never said that, and that's not okay. my position. Because I think there are varying degrees of sentience. We are, you know, like there's but a spectrum. You... Um, and just because, you know, there might be some capacity for animals to appreciate their lives. I'm, I don't know, like, you don't know either. We don't know. But I think there is a spectrum. Like, okay. there's lesser and higher curious, degrees of... Would you eat meat if it was made in a lab? instead of a conscious animal? I personally wouldn't. I think lab-grown meat, they still have to um, exploit animals somehow to get the, um, to start the process off. What if so, it reduces the suffering? No. If it reduces, okay. Because it wouldn't reduce the suffering because you're gonna have to exploit an animal in the first place to start the process. Okay. Do you wanna look at some of the questions people are asking? Yeah, or sure. Do you have access? Oh, um, yeah, I'll go on my phone actually. I haven't had a look yet because it's been kind of uh, engaging this conversation, hasn't it? So, yeah, yeah. I haven't sorry had if a chance to look. I more of it, okay, to, to be fair, to be honest, to me, everything that's a discussion, people think I'm being, uh, make, it's more like a debate to them. Right? So, <laughs> no, I, okay, yeah. and, I, and I always think like everything was. If, if, if once the conversation is over, many times I think it was really friendly and it was really good. And then people come to me and tell me like, why were you so mean to that person? And we're like, you're not being mean at all. Don't worry. This is you're, okay. you're tame compared to some of the people I've spoken to. So don't worry. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. So don't worry. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's just that I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like a, 
I'm not. I'm gonna be hard on you where I need to be. No, but, please you know. be, please be, because because and the same to me as well. Yeah, if I'm saying anything out of line, then please correct me. No, yeah? he, I would go as far as saying that we should listen to vegans more because if they're right and we are wrong, one of the world's biggest crimes is happening. Yeah. On it, so we should exactly. We should. If, if if you're wrong about the um, self awareness concept and the appreciation concept, then yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then, then, yeah, I agree with you in that case. Then there's a huge crime is happening that nobody, everybody's ignoring. Like ten times the Holocaust, or a million times. I don't know what times the Holocaust. Yeah. But, I but I do, I do think that people yeah. shouldn't just dismiss you just because they enjoy meat, right? That's that's a bullshit argument. Um, and I do, but you know, I, I, so I don't, I don't, I don't like the way you guys are vilified. I think disagreements should be treated as disagreements and not as attacks. But let's um, let's see what what uh, people are saying. I'm pretty. Sure. Can you okay? People in the live chat, can you post? Sorry, we missed the ch your questions above. Can you post anything that you guys want to bring up in the live? Okay. Well, Somebody well, said um, yeah. animals who recognize themselves in the mirror must have a form of self awareness. Exactly. That's what that's one of the tests that people did with self awareness. For example, mm. they put chimpanzees in front of a mirror and they put something on their head. And what they what they what they notice is that the chimpanzee looks at himself or herself in the mirror and tries to remove that touch that thing, right? So that means mm. what that action is absolute proof that the chimpanzee realizes that whatever is in that mirror, it's him or her. And you can't do that unless you have an understanding. There's so many different tests, right? But uh, th that's that's absolute proof that the chimpanzee has an understanding that there is a, such a thing itself. And it, what what the scientists have done is that they notice that what parts of the brain, what what development of brain is uh, is re um, is responsible for um, self awareness, and that's why they no they mm. notice. But this but in is, any case, yeah. in any yeah. case, you know, you wouldn't kill the human that hasn't got that concept, would you? So. Therefore, you can't really say that it's justified to kill an animal. I wouldn't kill a human person. because it's a crime to me, not the crime to the human that I killed. If that person is alone... That's, that's, that's appealing to social contracts, though, isn't it? No, Rather no. Rather than okay. to ethics. So it's, so it's a mis, it's a mistreatment. Let me reword it. It's a mistreatment of me. If a human that has no self-awareness, no self-awareness, and no, and no person that loves him or her to miss him or her, if I kill that person, that's a huge mistreatment to me. Okay, so it's, so it would be unethical then, yes? Yes, to me. We've already been we've already been over this. You you, you agreed it wasn't ethical. Yes. But you're saying me. it is. It, it, you're saying it is ethical in the in the animal context, but not the human context. No, so I that's, said, a, that's a double standard completely. That is. No, I said it's a it's a mistreatment to the people that we put in a position to kill animals on a daily basis. That's what I said. It's a mistreatment so, of them. So unethical or ethical? Unethical too, but I want to be clarify who's the subject of the uneth un and this being unethical, right? It's unethical so, to the humans the, that, that we put them in the position to. So do. the what? So the humans that are killing animals is they're unethical? You mean? No, I think we. I, I think well, I think we are being unethical to to put them in that situation, and but I think okay. So the the person but, that's buying, that's paying for that person to kill the animal, they're they're the unethical ones. But then, but then I have to put the suffering that we're causing them, and compare that to because it's anything you do will cause. No, well, 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 just before you go on to that, can I'm I gonna, just I, to, that's to what agree I'm that? No, I want to clarify that, that paying paying for that unethical acts to happen is unethical. I want to, yes? that's what I'm trying to clarify. So right? is that yes or no? Well, it's not, neither. Can I, and I will tell you. Well, right. it's either ethical or unethical. It can't be a mixture well, of both. So this is what consequentialist is like. It's not, it's never black and white, right? Consequentialist is the, is the fact that you're causing some pain and you're reducing some pain, right? And you have to... But you said in the, in the human context that it was unethical. Yeah, but you have to see who so else... You need to, well, you need to actually differentiate the two in a way that's meaningful. Otherwise, you're just it's just that's what killing, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that's not the reason only, for arbitrary reasons. I'm, I'm what I'm saying is that that's not the only thing in the equation, right? I'm saying there's other things that so other things that come. So, so let, can I things, okay? Tell, tell me the other things because I, I know I've got a point to raise after you've said okay, that. Okay, so there's many other things, right? So, first of all, let's uh, go by them one by one. 
It'll, it'll just be can, easier. Just can I give them point. just them all of them? And then you can well, I can, I can do that. The thing is, I can't um, remember all your points, so it's How better if you go through them one by one. I'll bring them up again once you forget. Okay. No, no, no. I, I can't do that. I could, I could do it point by point, but I find it really difficult to remember. Because if I bring them point by point, it seems like I'm just saying that one thing is enough to make it ethical. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, well, that's, that's it. We could, we could stack. All right, let's stack. We could right, go so by them by one, one by one. Yeah, yeah. So my current understanding of what's healthy and what's not healthy is that there's a new understanding of diet. And you could clarify this on me and correct me because I'm pretty sure you're going to. So disagree. are you going to say um, th these are reasons why it's ethical now? Yeah. Well, why it's okay, ethical so to... just like I care about the chimpanzee that is self-aware more than a human that is not self-aware, I care about the vast majority of humans that are aware and their health more than the amount of suffering that we're cause, that we might be causing to the people that we put in the slaughterhouse. So the people that are in the slaughterhouse, we're doing a we're doing a disservice to them for putting them in the act of actually killing animals on a daily basis, which I don't think is very nice. But we're also providing nutrition to many humans, and you know, which might like it, so. There's two things when it comes to providing nutrition to to hum to many humans, right? When you remove any food supply from the market, by by laws of economics, you're making foods more expensive, right? And a lot of people are already starving, right? So once you remove that food supply, you're already making right. a lot of more people starve. That's one thing. Another so can, thing you, is, can, can you just condense that down to sort of something right. more passable so I can understand very, it? Very fast. What's, very what's, fast. What's, your, what's your point? Yeah. What's that one point that you just made there? Okay, so and very fast. Uh, other than that, I think the current understanding of the diet is that ca cutting carbs is one of the most important things you could do with your diet. And that's hang really on, hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Was that? But the first point was both of these crazy. points are both of these points is about the well-being of humans. Right. Okay. Well, right? in terms of human health, in in both of starvation, reducing starvation, and also increasing. Uh, health right so, in, what's your po so your point is we need to increase um animal to... agriculture to stop starvation i didn't say we need to increase it right okay just, well, what, what are you saying then just can you condense it down for me into okay i'm just saying that as of right now without the meat industry there's three harms that we would do we would be doing but you want me to go point by point right if you remove the meat industry you're removing a food supply to humans, right? And Can I just ask a question, just a quick question there? Do you think it will happen overnight like that? No, that, so okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm okay for a gradual move. I support yeah. that. Okay. All right, so... And do you believe that you should be part of, if you're for a gradual move towards that, that so, you should be part of that? Well, no, then, then again, I eat... No? So I don't eat meat for um, just a taste, I eat meat for the nutrition based on my understanding of right. diet. Right. So you so believe I've that already, you... I've already given up on bread, potatoes, and rice for okay. for health. So do you? So you do believe that um, animal products are healthy? I think without if if carbohydrates are the only, the source of m much of the disease as 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 my understanding is right now based on the on latest scientific understanding, um, then without meat, I basically without both meat like. Meat so what's and healthy? What's, what's, health, what's healthy about animal products? Can you tell me the reasons why they're healthy? It's not that it's okay. First, what I'm saying is that how, can you without carbohydrates. Okay, well, we can talk about carbohydrates. We can, I'd love to talk about carbohydrates because, because that's, all I, ever, that's all I ever eat. That's all I ever eat, right? I just eat carbs upon carbs upon carbs, and right. I don't have any health issues. But that's just an anecdotal evidence. I can't base everything on that. Right. But I just want to know what your opinion of animal products are. Can you give me the reasons why they're healthy? Because if you're going to be eating them, obviously you think that they are healthy. Why right. would you be eating something they're that's healthy? They're healthy because they're not carbs, right? They're, what is it that's healthy? No, 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 no. But that's not, and that's not an answer. I'm asking you, what is it that's actually healthy about animal products? What can you? What reasons can you give me? The what fact that they don't reasons? have carbs. That's not really an answer. How so? What? What are the nutrients in um, meat that we need? I, and that's not what, what I'm saying. The... That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I need a diet 
based on my current understanding of science, that is what is healthy. It's a diet without carbs. Okay. But you haven't, told me, you haven't told me what it is I, about meat and dairy I didn't, that is I didn't healthy. Make, I didn't, I'm not making that claim. I'm not, no, I'm no, not no, no, no. But if you, I mean, I'm not saying that you're saying you're saying that. you're saying you've got to displace um, carbohydrates with animal products, right? Because you believe yeah, that else, carbohydrates are because, unhealthy. Yes. What else yeah. is there to eat? So therefore, I, if I, therefore, I, animal products must be healthy in comparison to, to carbohydrate. So plant-based foods. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what is it about the animal products that is healthy? Then names of the nutrients in the um, meats I'm that you not, can't I'm get from plant-based products. My claim is not that they have ex extra nutrition that I need that I can't get from somewhere else. My claim is that they ha they lack a nutrition that I want them to lack. That's why I like the meat products. Right. For the well, lack of for the lack of for the lack of carbohydrates. So um, would you agree there's nothing healthy about meat? Well, I mean. <sighs> And dairy. Obviously. It's health. Well, it's what's, health. What's, what's, what's healthy about dairy? <laughs> Can you tell me anything that's healthy about dairy? By the way, the vegans and the in the chat really don't like me. I've been very I've been very nice to yeah, vegans. Yeah, you've been fun, yeah. But but if you, I, what I'm saying, okay, so he, people are saying I fuck myself and my arguments are uh, pretty stupid, right? And if, I agree, might they might be pretty. My arguments can be wrong. But I just want to understand that this is not an attack on vegans. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. vegans. And well, you're, vegans you're, and you're, if my understanding of any of this is wrong, yeah. um, I would like to be corrected. And I'm open to be corrected. I have already changed my mind on many things in my life. Right? Well, being, and there's being no an way, atheist. Yeah. Be, I mean, being an atheist, I'm, I'm sure you probably come up against many, many religious people who've had many discussions. And I would be the same kind of, I mean, I don't know whether you do this, but I'm open to um, my opinion being changed. If somebody can prove that God exists, I'm open yeah. to it, you know? Yeah. And, and probably the fact, same kind of, in fact, yeah. I'm, I would be scared if I don't change my mind on something yeah. big for a very long time, because that means I'm too married to my belief. Yeah. Right? But, exactly. So but going are, back to... Yeah, but, but it's very, it's, I don't understand how you could have a healthy diet, right, that is low carb, and people are, seems in the chat seem to not to believe me. And I honestly, when people told me that diets have to be low carb and that's the healthiest thing based on current research, I thought that was bullshit. I okay. thought that was one of the most recent fads that will go and away. And I'd love to talk about this because it's it's yeah, it is very interesting. Yeah. I'd love to talk about that. But first of all, I, I want to talk about why you think carbohydrates are bad, i.e., plant-based foods. But I want to know why you think, because in order for um, carbohydrates to be bad. Therefore, animal products must be healthy in comparison, right? So there must be a reason it, why it, those animal products are healthy. It can't just be because they're not carbohydrates. Yeah, there must be like components good. in that meat and that no, dairy no, which that's is considered healthy. I'm, and I want to know what those components well, are. You, you, and what they you, do, you what keep asking me are. that, and I'm saying I'm not making that claim. I'm just saying the fact that they have low in carbs is enough. And people that are noticing that are pointing to me that fish plants are not bad i didn't there are many for example i i still eat vegetables but i eat less fruits because my understanding yeah. is fish, fruits for example and we can get into that. i'd love to get into that i'd love to talk about why you think carbohydrates are bad yeah. I'm not, but i'm sorry. still not i'm still not getting from you why meat is healthy in comparison because if you're going to say I'm carbohydrates are bad therefore right. meat must be healthy right we, meat is linked like um cholesterol and meat is linked to heart disease you know, like saturated fat is linked to uh, diabetes. Actually, that's very interesting. Because Hormones in milk is related to cancer. And the, actually, um, meat, uh, processed meats are, and red meats are a class one carcinogen, a class yeah, in, I, I've, uh, I've World Health on, Organization. I've so. red meat. I've, I've, I, eat, I don't eat processed meat anymore. Yeah. And I don't, I've, I don't eat red meat anymore either. So I'm, yeah, I'm and you, so you, think that, you think that white meat isn't carcinogenic? Well, I mean, but there, everything, OK, yes. There, White meat is so not is that healthy then. If it's carcinogenic, there's nothing. Okay, I, I'm there. Every single food that you eat, okay, has benefits, and excess of it has some problems with it as well, right? Except yeah. well, maybe not every single one of them, like, but a lot of them, right? So, for example, well, are plant-based plant foods carcinogenic? No, but but cancer is not the only disease out there, right? Diabetes. Exactly, diabetes. That's Heart disease. 
diabetes is the major source of diabetes is carbohydrates. No. Right? Um, let me explain it to you. So wait, the way it works, okay, um, you've got insulin receptors in, in your um, exactly in your body, right? Yeah. Um, these insulin receptors, somebody that's on a very high fat, high saturated fat diet, i.e. animal products, right? Because you can only get really saturated fat from those um, kinds of foods, yeah? Okay. When the fat goes into your bloodstream, it actually covers these insulin receptors. So the carbohydrates, they can't get into the cells because they're blocked. So that you're clogging up your arteries. There's, there's no way that the sugar, the glucose can get into those cells. Right. So it's not really a sugar issue. It's to do with the saturated fats in your diet that's okay so it's, it's, it's like it's like a slippery road like if you're if you're if that road is covered in oil that car is going to skid all over the place all right so yeah. if that's the case then i would be then i'm wrong and i would look and you i will try to educate myself on that and so far my understanding is that more carbohydrates more is low, more higher chance of diabetes and when it comes to meat they're processed meat and red meat you're right they're, they give you more uh, chances of uh, you know heart disease and cancer, but not as much as white meat and seafood. Um, also, somebody well, said seafood is actually seafood is actually very bad for you. It's full of cholesterol. Okay, um, it's full of it's full of um, toxins as well from the sea. I mean, the, but they bioaccumulate but from. Also, also somebody is pointing out what the drawbacks of broccoli. I I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I clarified that it's not all food for all plant based food. For example, um, I I don't eat bananas and. Uh, anymore, but I do eat broccoli, right? There are fruits, yes. sweet fruits. I'm, I'm, I'm not eating anymore. Bread, I'm not eating anymore. Rice. So I'm what's, not what's bad about potatoes and and rice potatoes, and pasta and, and bananas? What's the, well, are they, they are they carcinogenic? Do they need to diabetes? No, no, they are. No, they are do they need to heart disease? Well, I'm answering you. They are high on carbs, right? And am I might. Okay. What's bad about carbs? <sighs> well, I don't. Um, I here's the thing. I, me and you. We are not scientists, but I, 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 no. you are, are you? No, no. Okay. So what we do is we study what the scientists are trying to tell us. And if I'm, if I'm looking at wrong sources, then yeah. please educate me on that. And I'll show you my sources and you show me your sources and we'll try to figure out which one will work. But when people come to me and say like, oh, this is, you got the facts wrong. How could you think this is science? The thing is, I'm not a scientist. I only try to look at what is what the research is showing. If my sources are wrong, and here's the thing, I have been trying to. Okay. This is something that I have been trying very hard to figure out. Who's this? Is so strange to me that this whole diet industry is, seems to seems to be not not that much consistency in it when it comes to what I've been hearing scientists say compared to people that well, study the I Big mean, Bang and the universe. They seem to be yeah. quite... There is, a, there, is, there is a quite a big consensus in the scientific community, in the medical community. This is very interesting. points towards um, the, 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 the link between animal products and heart disease, diabetes and cancer. There's quite a lot of overwhelming this, evidence to point in that you direction. You tell me that, but my understanding also is apparently wrong according to all your fans that are in the live chat is my understanding is that high carbohydrates in your diet is also okay. linked to many problems right okay so why why is that why, what what, pro what problems does it lead to and what is the causal link between carbohydrates and ill health so, he, I, okay so once we get off this chat i will send you my sources right and you yeah, send me but I just want to know because you you think that carbohydrates are bad, so there must be a reason for that that you can explain right. in the live stream. So yeah, but my understanding is that carbohydrates in your blood system they, that's responsible for the insulin release. But you're saying it's something else, right? Saturated fats will actually block um, okay. glucose okay. from entering the cell. So okay. of course it's going to be running about it, but you're going to have a high um, hyperglycemia. All right. Yeah, so that's your diabetic. Right yeah. now, my understanding is that the better, the more you cut carbs, that's the better mm -hmm. because of what I just said. But I, I'm not a scientist, and as soon as I'm proven wrong, I will change my opinion on that. Okay? I mean, yeah, it's like what many people that are type two diabetic are also overweight, right? Right. Not everyone. I mean, um, there are yeah. type one diabetics. I, I, try, I, not, I try not to judge based on what I observe because mm. you know our observations are not yeah. as as reliable as um, double blind study, you know peer reviewed academic yeah. studies, right? So um, what is what was the so that's one thing. carbohydrates then? Well, I just told you, right? The, uh, the, the fact the, that 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 they are responsible for reducing insulin. insulin 
and they are responsible for fat gaining yeah. your brain, right? But if you if you if you if you've got a fully working, fully functioning pancreas, then and that works properly and is able to make that uh, glu- like take um, break down the foods, turn it into glucose to store it, then how would that be? How would that lead to diabetes unless you have like the, the saturated fat that's going to clog that so, system from working effectively? So I I will show you the data that I have and what what people studies that say that higher carbs are bad for you and if you could point me to better studies I'm not going to go into how uh, the science must, of it because you must I don't know it, though. you must know what the science think, is if you've read about it yeah okay my understanding is based on the science with some of the, my, the scientists that I've been listening to right which mm-hmm. might be not which you might say that they're not good is that you should cut carbs from your diet as much as you can. You have to have a high fat, low carb, high protein diet. That's the new understanding of a good diet. I'm not going to go in defending. A why, why is that though? Why is that? I'm not. I'm not going to go into. This, I'm not a scientist. That's why I'm. I'm okay to be proven. But you wrong. can't. But you. 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 I mean, you're saying you believe something because you've heard it from an expert, right? No, okay. So. Uh, do, you, it, do you understand the causal link between diabetes and sugar? Do you understand? You, or you or do you not understand the con- the relationship between it? Yeah, th- that's what I, I, my understanding, which you saying that is incorrect, is that high car- a, a carb increase in your bloodstream reduces insulin and increases fat, you know, uh, fat in your body, and you're saying that's not correct. That's not accurate. Okay, I'll look into that. Okay. Yeah, and so, so what are you saying then in rebuttal to that? I'm saying I would look into that if it's incorrect. I don't, I'm not going to mm-hmm. rebuttal science because I'm not a scientist, right? But you're saying that you have your your belief system is that um, you believe that carbohydrates see, are bad. It comes, it's got to be grounded in some see, kind of logic. When, when, when Otherwise, people, why do you believe that's true? Okay. Otherwise, it's just faith based, isn't it? No, because how do you know E is equal to MC squared? Do you believe E is equal to MC squared? Sorry, beg your pardon. Did you do you believe that E is in equal MC square? Do you believe that? I'm really not very good at maths. I that just. Do you believe that <laughs> matter could turn into energy? Matter can turn into energy. Right. Uh, Einstein formula E is equal MC square. Do you believe that? The one that they built, built the atomic bombs on. The one right, that. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you believe in that formula? Can you give me another formula that makes more sense? Um. Do you believe in the Big Bang theory? Do you believe that's Can the you most give, logical? Is is there any other logical explanation for it? N- well, no, okay. Well, so he, what I'm trying to say is that I is, don't. Is the Earth is the Earth round or flat? Exactly, <laughs> it's, it's round, right? But I've never seen a picture. I've never went to space and seen it. But well, I it just makes it. the most. It makes the most sense. Obviously, it makes but, more sense but, for the round to be spherical okay, than, than point, flat, surely. E is equal mc square, right? I've never done the math that Einstein did to come to that formula, right? Yeah. But my, the, based on Occam's razor, mm-hmm. based on the fact that the whole scientific community are saying that that formula has not contradicted anything, any other formula that any other formula that they have come up to, I the. My under, my current belief is that that formula is accurate. I did. I have not so, done the math behind okay. E is equal mc square. I'm okay, not so a mathematician. So, okay, I'm not a scientist. There's so let's go more, back to let's yeah. go back to the carbohydrates thing then. Okay. Yeah, I'm still I, sort of. I'm still sort of like we're trying to work out in my head why it is that you believe that carbohydrates are bad for you. But you're just saying that oh some expert said it, or you've read it in a book or something. I'm not really sure. To be honest, when it comes to science, I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not, when it comes to science, right? Yeah. What I try to do, I try to trust the most current understanding of what the scientists give us. I'm not gonna go into a lab every single time and try to prove every single. Okay. Thing. Well, and this this this. Okay. It. This is not face so it. I'll you're saying that you to... believe in you're saying that you believe in the most current science to do with nutrition. I don't, yeah? I, believing is not belie- believing. I believe that's the most uh, probable understanding based on the current information, and I'm I'm prepared to be proven wrong okay. on two things. I'm prepared to be proven wrong on one 
the fact that is this is not the current most probable understanding and two oh, yeah. when the scientists themselves change their understanding i'm also prepared to change my understanding okay but i'm so not going to go most... and do a, do publish on my i'm not when 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 my doctor prescribes a drug to me right i'm not going to go do the t do 100 years worth of study in a lab you know i'm just going to go read some papers on it and base and it seems like everybody seems like this drug works and i'm going to trust it i'm not going to go and redo reinvent the wheel okay. from the beginning right go on okay. so what is it um that relates carbohydrates with ill health i already said that what okay tell me again because i'm still not very sure but I said that, and you said, and you said that it's not the case. And I'm gonna go. I said, hang on, no, no, no. I, but what, what, what wasn't the case? I said, Sorry. my based on my understanding, right? Uh, carbohydrates more than fat itself is responsible for increasing fat deposits in your body, right? And what is the causal link that makes that? The in, I, um, my understanding is that insulin release is ba based on a increase of carbohydrates in your body. Am I right? Am I? in your blood so right. saturated fat causes an increase in that's what i'm response. saying i said yeah. this and you correct and you're saying it's not the case i already mentioned this a couple of times and you said no it's not it's saturated fat and i'm and i'm saying mm -hmm. that okay i have to go and see where where did i get it wrong or maybe got it right okay this yeah, is not wouldn't it would it make more sense that um, saturated fat would block um, insulin from working effectively rather See, than just is, more carbohydrates not, because this, this because is what is the body's what what is the body's most what does the body prioritize most um, in terms of nutrition is we don't, like, we what don't. does it utilize what does it utilize I try not um, to figure what, out what scientific what scientific um, claims are true based on what makes the body you sense. always utilizes carbohydrates first and foremost over fat but uh, what I'm saying is that I'm not I, science is not based on thinking about what makes the most sense right because a lot of times things that feel well like, uh, most scientists because, base theories on logic first and foremost before they and, and they make theories up before they no they no, no no they hypothesize before yeah they, exactly so they don't theorize doing. right so okay so yeah sorry I'm getting the terminology wrong but that's okay yeah, yeah. so and and they are very experienced at hype. They based on the years of research they have done, and based on the research they have studied, they're more yeah. qualified in coming up with hypothesis than I am. Right? Yeah. I'm just saying so, a lot of things that seem to be one way based on my, based on what I think, and scientists sometimes come and prove wrong. So I try to go based on uh, research and academic research. And instead of trying yeah. to think about makes the most sense, and I understand that and what the, what the, sometimes I get my sources wrong, and I yeah. appreciate it when are that pointed out to me. Are there any um, animal product based diets that actually um, go somewhere towards reducing, significantly reducing or eliminating the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer? That's I don't know. I have to check after. Yeah, that'll be something I'd. I would encourage you to go and research. Okay. And I would encourage you to research how plant-based diets actually significantly reduce or eliminate all those. I would call them diseases of affluence. Okay. Because you'll see, like, there's a correlation between, like, um, with the increase of animal products within society, so that we have the increase of the these diseases of affluence. And I'm not saying, you know, and, um, correlation and it, equals um, causation. You know, yeah, but there is a there is a causal link between. Uh, those animal products causing uh, that heightened risk. Right. So you do the research. Yeah. So yeah. So whoever uh, also this is going to go on YouTube. So people that are scientists that listen to this, can you if you do watch this, can you please comment with links to research or even if you're not a scientist but you happen to know legitimate sources, link to in the comment section in things that you think that shows that what the latest studies mm. show because look I'm at a study of, look at a study called um uh i can't remember send it, it's called, send it to me send it to me and i'll put it in yeah the, uh, seven of the seven day Adventists. they are uh, sort of like an offshot of uh, christianity but um they are actually vegan and their average age is a lot higher than the average population yeah. So, so, so that's a population so the problem study. with the, well the, pro the thing i i tried to look at studies that were controlled right and that were you know double blind and you know not you know because the, sometimes the problem with population studies is that you don't know what other external factors were there so 
the challenge with these diet, you know, these kind of scientific thing is that you ha it's hard to create, you know, controlled mm -hmm. environment where you where, re re where you reduce the impact of external events. So we yeah. have to don't just look. We shouldn't just look at the studies. We also have to show look at the quality of the studies and whether if they were peer reviewed yeah. or not. So, so um, I'll just be interested to know your opinion on this. What would you think of my diet then? If I told gave you a rundown of what I ate in, in a day, and I'd like your opinion whether you think that's healthy or not. And how I don't you think, think I'm, I, do, I. I wish I don't want to be. I don't want to. I'm not a professional, so I don't want to comment on whether a diet is. Um, I myself look at try to see what other people say, so I don't want to give anybody dietary advice uh, because that would be very irresponsible of me. I think. If I'm not a professional, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but um, okay, but but I think this. Uh, I think I think this discussion is important, right? Um, and I do want I do want to emphasize that um, if we if I am wrong, I want to be proven wrong because yeah. all right, and people should not dismiss vegans and vegetarians the way they often do. Um, even even if they think that they are wrong, they have to appreciate the fact that their goal is a very noble goal, even if you're not agreeing with them. But, you said that there are some other um, things that you wanted to add other than the, the health, oh, uh, so, so for justifications to um, treat the uh, animal differently from the human. Yeah. So one thing, one thing that I also other, uh, I I think that. Many of many of uh, animal rights activists are doing is they're assuming too much on behalf of um, conscious being that cannot speak for him themselves. And this, I, I kind of mentioned this a little bit, but I don't think we went deep into it. I'm saying like we, if if we are assuming that uh, cows and chickens would be happier if there wasn't any meat industry, but I don't understand how could you be more happy if you don't even exist. You know what I mean? Well, if you don't exist, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because there's no consciousness. So why would it be important? But if I had the choice between existing and not existing, I always would. Well, unless okay. you, I would choose. Okay, okay. Let's put it in the let's put it in the human context then. If you know that if you knew that your child was going to be born into existence where it had an expiration date, would you think that's ethical? Um, no. Or would you would you prefer that, that your child wasn't even born? Um, oh, okay. So, no, I wouldn't prefer that they weren't even born. If so I you'd be, have, you'd be you'd be fine with them being uh, taken to a slaughterhouse. No, that's not the same thing. You, saying saying I would what would I prefer is not the same as saying if I would be fine with it, right? If I if they tell me that you know, let's say your wife is pregnant and we see that this child has a disease that will he or she will have a normal life, very normal life for twenty years. But by the age twenty, would die, right? Would you still want to have this child or not? I would be. I wouldn't immediately. I. I don't know if I would say yes or no. I might say yes, and I would say I would make that twenty years, the best twenty years that he or she could have, right? As a parent, right? But forget about having the child. But asking myself, if they told me that you, Armin, you, well, we're gonna kill you. <laughs> Hang on a second. Are you saying the child is going to die from some terminal illness? Because that's not the same. That's not that's, right. that's yeah. a false analogy. That's okay. Well, I'll give you a better example because I can't decide for. I'm I'm saying putting myself in a position, right? If you put me in a position that say, Armin, you, we are either going to you either can live in a world where you are born, and we will kill you at age twenty. And this is not saying, and here's the thing, I don't want to say that this is, you're talking about preferences, not whether it's fine or not, right? Obviously, between killing me and not killing me, I would choose not killing me. That would be my preference, obviously, right? But between not being born and being born and being killed at age 20, I would choose being born and being killed at age 20. Um, well, I asked you if you were, if you were bearing a child... And you knew that had an expiration. Um, if you, 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 would you, you have a child if you knew that they had an expiration date, where well, you knew they were going to be killed for something for an unnecessary reason? Would you think that's ethical? 
See, you're asking two different questions. You, okay. you, you're asking, Sorry, would you still um, have a child, or would you be that? Would you, be, or would, or do you think that's ethical? Those are two very different questions, right? Would you um, rather have um, a child born into existence that you knew there was going to be killed um, at a very early age for an unnecessary reason, or not to have that child at all? Which would be more painful? Which would be more painful? Hmm. To me personally, you're right. It would be having the child but what about the child herself which one do you think she would prefer well i mean if it was me i'd i'd probably wouldn't want to exist in the first place well in my, in my I'd know, I'd, if it I'd was always... if it was me okay so you said what if what if it was you you would prefer not to exist in the first place if it was me i would i would take 20 years over nothing i would take 20 years over nothing Knowing that you're going to be killed for some for unnecessary reason. For, for no to... reason at all. Let's say for no reason mm -hmm. at all. Gonna, the government is going to be like, that's it, you're yeah. done 20 years, that's enough. They're going to kill me for no reason at all. Right? Yeah. Between, and not, would, be, before, and be, would... between not existing at all and being existing for 20 years and being killed for no reason, I'll take existing yeah. and being killed for no reason. And at the all. difference between you and an animal is that you have language, right? Right. An animal can't do anything about being slaughtered. They don't get a choice. Exactly. So um, what I'm saying, why and, are we assuming? Therefore, though, yeah. so therefore, because you have language, and if you're born into existence where you know that you're going to die at 20 years old, you can try and change it with language. You've got the you've got the fucking internet. You know, you right. you know that shit's wrong. You know that's unethical, right? Right. right. So you are, you'd want to progress to a future where that doesn't happen, right? Okay. So so, so animals that. aren't allowed. The animals don't have a choice to do that. So we betray them essentially. Do you okay, agree so, that we do? What? Do you agree? Do you think it's a betrayal? Of an of because the, they don't have the language to communicate to say that it's wrong, right. whereas we do. So I agree with you that we should fight for them because they don't have a language, right? And we do. They and we we should use the fact that we can communicate for their benefit. But what? But because they can't speak, the only way we have to see what's best for them because they can't communicate with us is to study their brains, right? Because there's, I don't know of any other way to go and ask them, right? Well, it's quite simple. If, if, you're, if an animal knows it's about to die, it's gonna run away, right? They're gonna run away. Well, That's a clear clue that they don't want you to kill them. Actually, it's not because, for example, a squirrel, right? When a squirrel is hiding nuts in the in summer, it's it's not because it's logically thinking that when at winter time I'm going to need food, so I should hide these so I have food in winter. The only reason why it's hiding the nuts is just because it feels the urge to do it, right? It's, mm. it, it's not it's not using logic, right? It has no understanding of the fact that winter is coming, right? Uh, how do you know this? Right? How do you know this? This is based on our understanding of how brains work. Yes. Yeah. So well, yeah. So how have so, you so come to the planning, planning, because, the conclusion okay. that planning schools aren't able to planning based on planning for future events is a very limited thing that not that many animals do right so some and problem solving and planning for the future yeah. is you know is not something that a squirrel has so for an animal you, that, agree that, you agree that it's some it, kind of computation though let me, I, I'm trying to brain, make a bigger right? I'm trying to make a bigger point I'm just trying to, I know I know but I but if you can make but a I want to get I to that point I want to get to that point I'm just saying when an I know but I, I just I don't agree with you that you know the squirrel I, I'm not convinced by okay. what you're saying is true well for that, so, you have to, for I that don't I know whether your you, premises is going to be you know okay so for that I will have to I give you scientific papers and stuff, but let me just tell you where I'm getting my. Yeah, if, if your premise is correct, then okay. it, it, it might not be. So it I might not be I have to okay. take, take it with a pinch so, of salt. Okay, so problem solving, right? So in animals that do not have problem solving skills, the way that they do things is that they just feel the urge to do those things at that specific time, right? So even in our brains, right? When you sometimes when you run away from something. Um, it's not because you're logically putting two and two together and saying like, well, I have to start running now if I want to stay alive. No, you, when you feel fear, you feel the need, the urge to run away. It's not that you're logically thinking that I need to run away. Yeah, it's like fight or flight. Yeah, so it's, 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 a, it's a primal response, is it not? 
Yes. So, for example, and humans we, would do the same thing if they were in. in my point um, is that running away from danger is not a proof of appreciation for life. Well, well when you're when you're proof, trying to a, when you're trying to avoid being stabbed by someone wielding a knife, are you thinking about like, no. oh my god, I'm going to die? Or are you trying to think about getting away from the fucking knife? Exactly. Exactly. So my point is that you in that situation you have an appreciation for fear, not for staying alive. So just because animals run away. From from when fear comes about, it doesn't mean that they have an appreciation for staying alive, right? Even so, how are we different from them then, in that context? Well, in that context, we're not, right? But okay. In that so you're trying context, to you're trying no, to make a paint a no, picture that we are different from them in some way. Yeah, but not but not in that specific. When you're running away from a murderer in that specific situation, you're very much like an animal, right? But we are capable of sitting. We are animals, though, aren't we? I said that's why I said other animals. Okay. All right. I never said we're not animals. Of course we're animals, but um, but we are capable of reflecting and appreciating the fact that we're alive. So can a chimpanzee, right? And if we didn't, if we weren't able to do that, would it be okay to kill us? If we were, yeah, yeah, it would be if we weren't able to. You're saying it would be okay to kill humans if they can conceptualize. I think, well, I think, okay, so in, in that, that would be a different, the formula would be different, obviously, because my main concern is reducing suffering, right? So, so hang on, I'm just a bit confused. So you've run through the scenario. Um, can you just run through it quickly again? For example, let's, so like, let's, create, yes. let's say that we create an A artificial intelligence that are just like humans in any form, in every way, Mm -hmm. Except that they don't care if we they if we delete them or not. Okay. Yeah, they they're not sentient pain. though. No, but they let's say they they feel they're conscious, they feel pain, they get upset, they get emotional, they get happy, but they don't give a shit if you delete them. In that case, I don't think it's, it's it, it matters if we delete them or not. If I have if we if they don't give a shit. Yeah, because they're not sentient. Define sentient. Um, being conscious, I guess. Well, I'm, I'm being, saying they are conscious. Being, I'm, saying, being, I'm saying, let's say you build artificial intelligence that is conscious, right? But it doesn't give a shit if you delete it or not. In that case, it's okay to delete it. Yeah, because they're not a sentient being. But I'm saying they're. Con you said if it's the same as sentient is the same as conscious. I'm saying these are conscious artificial intelligence. Let's say we create conscious artificial intelligence. So they're basically humans then. Well, no, because yeah, you said we, we, you said you said okay, not, humans are not the only conscious beings. You, I think, you agree with that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I still want I'm still want you to answer my question. Is it? You I mean you you almost went there? Is it? That's, that's what I'm. Is it? Is it ethical to kill the human being that doesn't have a self awareness concept? If if you're not self aware, and you're saying yes, it is. You're saying yes, if humans are self uh, have no self awareness, they're not humans anymore. That's why I try to create a hypothetical situation. So is it ethical to kill them? Ethical. Define ethical. The human. Define ethical. Because here's, here's the problem I have with these words. This is why I always try to reduce it to I'm trying to reduce pain and increase happiness instead of using words like rights, ethical, okay, okay. good, bad. If you, want to use, if you want to do the semantics game, I can Google the, the meaning of ethics. You know, that's, why I, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to not play the semantic games by saying that reducing suffering and increasing happiness because I don't want to get into the semantic games, right? So uh, is is ethical, Does what does ethical mean to you? Does ethical mean to you reducing suffering and increasing happiness? Is that what ethical means to you? I'm, I'm just going by what it says here on Google. Okay, Moral well, principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. Okay, that's... So the moral principles, the, what moral principles do you... The problem with that, the problem with that, if we look at it with that definition, that's not objective enough for my taste because then it would differ from person to person. Therefore, there would be nothing that you could call ethical or not ethical because it would depend on the person. That's the problem. Yeah, with that. That's the problem I have with okay, that. Okay, we'll use we'll use moral then. We'll use moral instead. Moral, moral again, and again, moral depending on your definition could be less or more subjective. No, that's no, no, my, no. Mor morality is not relative. It's I, either that, moral or it's not. 
yeah, that's I. It can't it, be relative, otherwise I like, standing women to death would be moral, and so, you know. That's I. I'm agreeing with you. I like definitions for morality that are more universal, or more. You know what I mean? I like. That's why I go with the definition. That definition over there is not for me. Is not universal enough. It's relativist. I try to go with definitions that are consistent, no matter what country you live in or what culture you had. And that's why I go with the definition of reducing suffering and increasing happiness. Do you have a different mm. definition that is not as universal and not as relative as the definition that, that that would suggest? Well, it's the distinction between right and wrong. What is right and wrong? In your opinion. Well, uh, killing animals needlessly for food no, is wrong. How do you define right and wrong? Do you, do you have a definition for it? The definition for right and wrong. Yeah, I have a definition for it, and I try to uh, be be true to it. Right? For me, right is something that increases happiness and reduces suffering, and wrong is something that increases suffering and reduces. Um, right. Yeah. Happiness. Like the moral landscape, like Sam Harris kind of concept, right? Is that where you're coming bit. from from that position? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I did mostly. Yeah. You've read the you've read the moral landscape here. Yeah? yeah, I did find some things, and I disagree with it in it, but yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. So increasing well-being as far as um, we can keep our freedom. The, the well-being, but well-being for every, for all conscious being, not just humans. Okay. Right. So my right and wrong depends is not limited to humans, obviously. Uh, not not just even animals, anything that could experience happiness and pain. Yeah. So, so the moral even, baseline even, therefore even should be include the moral baseline should include animals and artificial intelligence that yeah. we one day create that it, that, could, that has the capacity. Well, sorry. So I'm, by your own admission, then you should say that the moral baseline is that we should extend the right to life to sentient beings that can have the capacity f to suffer and has the capacity to experience well-being. Sorry, there's so much background. Can you hear the background noise, or is it okay? Um, okay it's not so. too bad, actually. No. Okay, so I mean, if it's causing you a problem, we can. Yeah, no, that's okay. So, the, uh, what I'm saying is that what the harm and suffering that different conscious beings can experience depends on their, mm, you know, brain or whatever that works like a brain, right? So, if you build an AI that can experience happiness and pain, but at an artificial intelligence has no appreciation for existing. So for example, if I tell the AI I'm going to delete it in five days, if it doesn't distress her or it or him, right? That's not a crime, right? Because we built an AI that has no appreciate, even though it does experience many emotions and appreciation for existing is not one of them. In that scenario, it's not a crime to delete that AI. Right. So when I when I'm looking at causing suffering and causing happiness, we have mm -hmm. to you also have to look at this conscious being and the way they process information. So when people say that pigs, for example, experience more pain than humans, that makes me more concerned for the for us inflicting pain on pigs. But at the same time, if they are not you have no appreciation for life, taking away that life is not robbing them of anything. Unless they had children that, for example, you could that have emotional suffering for the fact that you took the mom away, like those kind of situations, right? Well, many, well all pigs in the livestock industry have that problem. Yeah, and that seem, that's bad, I think. The fact that you... Well, that, how are you going to how are you gonna breed animals that don't this, mourn their... Well, that, um, babies been taken away from them because they're going to have to breed, aren't they, to produce meat? Yeah, but th these are the things that we have to address. He here's what I think that the, with the animal rights activists group, you know, so you, you understand the limitations of the intelligence of many animals, right? Mm -hmm. And their their limitations, right? But what it doesn't I, mean to say that you know because they're less intelligent or don't I, have a self awareness concept that they deserve not to. I, um, that, have wasn't the right I, to life. that wasn't where I was going. 
Yeah, yeah, but I'm just clarifying my yeah, position. Because... I completely agree with you on that, okay? My, my claim is that another animal that has very limited um, intelligence at times is humans, right? And very limited, under, like, most, what mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it tell you is that me and you and the people that are listening to this are a minority of people that reflect on things. Even if we disagree, most people don't reflect on things that much, right? So when it comes to selling to humans, the process of trying to get them to be more nicer to animals, you have to go also by practicality, right? I well, know. Well, hang on a second. So you're putting your self-interest above no, no. the right of that animal's life. Is no, that what you're saying? no. I'm saying if we are practicality. No, no. I'm saying with the goal of trying to reduce suffering of animals, right? If with that goal, I'm trying to say what messages can I will resonate if I go to the to my fellow humans, right, which oh, okay. are not always rational, what's the most practical sales that I can make to them? The right? pra most practical sales pitch? Yes, for example. Like, right, can, so you're talking like about the practicalities, um, how vegans communicate to... I think we can... Yes, I think we right. we can, So we're getting I, off track from the actual argumentation. Okay. All right, sorry. Um, that, I mean, I, if you want to carry on, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I, just I, I still, I still want you to, to either concede or um, admit, kind of like you need to think about a bit more about that question I asked you before, though, about the okay. in the human context you would think it's unethical, but in the animal context you think it's ethical. Which um, I think still think which, we have a bit of work to do there. But where, where, where did I, where did I, where was I in context? Well, you, well, you, you. I think I don't know. I think you changed your mind. Actually, I think you said it would it would be at first. You said it was it wouldn't be ethical to if, kill the human saying... possess a, a, a self awareness concept. And then I think you changed your mind uh, a little bit later. What, but then you were saying that animals. What I'm um, saying is that depends. It depends, on the, depends on who is the subject rights. of the. First of all, what I'm saying is that I try not to use the words ethical rights, okay or not okay, because people have different understanding of what these words mean. So what I try to do instead is say so this is just a semantics with, game. Exactly. That's why this I'm trying is, to not use is... them. That's exactly what I'm trying not to do, right? So to get out of the semantics game, what I try oh. to do <sighs> is tell people that which one, what will reduce harm the most, and what will increase increase harm more, right? Because people. Okay. What's going to what's going to increase the well-being of animals? Okay, good question. What is killing them going to increase their well-being? Yes or no? Well, killing them in a harm if in a way that no, 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 no. Is killing an animal going to increase their well well-being? Yes or no? It's not going to it increase increase, a increase or decrease. It's neither going to increase or decrease. It depending on how you do it. Are they going to have a capacity for well-being when you've killed them? When they're dead? No. Okay, so have, would you I, agree that they it's have, not increasing their well-being then because they're they dead? But they also don't have a capacity for suffering if they're dead, right? It's not so, increasing their well-being then, is it? It's and it's increasing the, is, depending is on it, the situation, it's, it could be in, increasing it or decreasing it or make no change. So that's why we no, have no, to change no, the situation. No, 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 no. You have to change the if you're situation. Killing, if you're killing someone, mm -hmm. if you're killing a sentient being, right. and thereby cutting off their capacity to experience well-being, are you increasing their well-being or that's decreasing why, it? That's why I give you two hypotheticals. If I kill us, if somebody that is suicidal, if you give them assistant suicide, you're increasing their well-being. But if that's, that's a false you analogy. Have, you can't use that analogy have, in this context. If you have an, if you have an that person wants to die. That okay. person wants to die. That's why another example is an artificial intelligence that has no, no, uh, that has sentient. No, I'm saying a conscious artificial intelligence that could experience happiness or sadness but has no appreciation for being alive how is the ai different from a, a laptop computer they're conscious if they're conscious. okay now we have to go into a huge topic of how you define how what is conscious or not and that's another five hour topic but that could give you but um for that i'm just trying to as, assume an ai that has consciousness okay because, because right yeah. So is it is it um, increasing the well-being of an animal to kill them? 
No, but it, okay. It, but you're saying that you so, are that, for that, increasing that, the well-being that, and it, decreasing it, suffering. What I'm yes? trying to say is that you're trying to make it binary. Wait, let me fix the camera. Okay. It's a bit pixely. Am I still pixely? Yeah. Uh, oh, there oh, we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying it's not that binary. It depends on the situation. Well, it either is or isn't. No, increasing no, their well-being. It's not. It's not, black, it's not that black and white. It's more complicated. Than that. Okay, how's it more complicated than that? Depends on the animal. Depends on how you kill them, and depends on the other animals around that animal. Okay, so, so how um, is it um, increasing their well-being? I didn't say it's increasing or decreasing. So it's, I said depends on the situation. Right? Okay, in the situation where they are going to the slaughterhouse and they're going to be killed for food. All right, so is this slaughterhouse uh, killing them in a, in a very uh, painful and distressing way? Or is it like... I okay, well, I can, I can, we can talk about the industry, industry standards right. of how they die. I mean, we won't talk about halal, but we'll talk about the industry standards, the most yeah. humane practices. Exactly. Okay? So this is what I'm saying. So, saying well, what I'm going to fight for is better industry standards. Okay, well, let's go through the industry standards as they are. And in the UK, we like to pride ourselves on the best industry standards for welfare for animals, yeah? So the industry standard for um, killing um, cows is a bolt can to the head, yeah? Um, I don't know, there's like, I can't think of the figure how many cows are p killed per year in this country, but it's about the most conservative estimate um, for the world is about 56 billion animals a year. Okay, and so it's a population of seven million, fifty-six billion, and that I think that figure has gone up by about seventy billion now per year. Right? Do you think that every single cow has been stunned correctly before slitting its throat? No, and that's what yeah. Yeah, I want to be fighting yeah. for for better and, industry practices. Okay, and for the industry standard for pigs, the um, the most common practice now, the most humane way to stun a pig is to put them down into a gas chamber. And that actually um, makes it um, possible so that when they come out of the gas chamber, you know that they are unconscious. That process can take up to 30 seconds to render them unconscious. And the gas that they use is actually CO2. Um, right. Now CO2 actually burns you from the inside out. It burns anything like your eyes, your nose, um, anus, um, mouth, anywhere that's got moisture, it burns. Right. Yeah, and that is the industry standard these days. Yeah, that's, that's what we should It's the most, yeah. most cost-effective cost way, and it's the it's considered the most humane way. Right. Well, I don't I don't know about and, this, and I should, and I should, uh, and the, yeah. the thing is that I think that the better industry standard, fighting for better industry standards, is the right way to go. Okay. So, what would be a more humane way to kill an animal than those two practices? Again, I don't want to. I don't want to. I I don't want. I don't want to act like a professional when it comes to that. I but know, I, but the thing but, is, if you're saying that there's a more ethical way of doing it, you must absolutely. have an inclination of how that could be done. I think Otherwise, you should, but I, what, saying, I know what the end result should be, it should be somewhere that is painless, is not painful. That's what I know. Okay, so what would be the most ethical way to kill someone? That is not gonna be, it's gonna cause the least amount of pain? I have to talk to um, people that are involved, I don't know. I mean, uh, for me, personally, Maybe like uh, I don't know, like maybe uh, give me a poison that is not gonna hurt, that is gonna just put me to sleep. And well, then that would that would render the meat unedible, then, wouldn't it? I know. You, I do, that's why I said poison, meat. poisonous meat, it's poisonous enough as it is. But... So that was a different question, though, right? So you saying? Yeah. I'm just saying that I don't know. I have to ask. Yeah. This is. I'm not a professional at killing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But do you see that there's probably not any? Uh, this I don't think it's gonna get any better because. These um, practices are considered the most humane, the most uh, so the humane bullet way to of the, head, the bullet to the head, the highest amount of welfare. That, that, that welfare. Painful? The bullet to the head is that painful? I have no idea. Do they do they measure the like? Uh, they do they measure brain waves in cattle when they bolt gun them to death? Well, as soon as the the brain is disconnected from your pain, pain sectors, there's no way for it for it to be. Well, you're just assuming that, but I have I mean, no idea whether that's it's correct. It's more than an assumption. If your brain is disconnected from pain receptors, how could it experience pain? Mm. And would you accept that same um, way of killing yourself for the same reasons? So, bolt gun to the head if it if was I, painless. Would you if, think that's ethical? If I was going to die, 
that would be yeah, yeah. If somebody told me that would be the less painful, they were like, then I'll choose that. If and somebody, do you think? And do you think that would be ethical? Well, again, Morally. do you want to? You said you don't like to play the semantic game, right? So <sighs> you said you don't do you like. Think, to, do you think that would be right or wrong? Co compared to what? Compared to not killing me, it would be wrong. Yeah. Compared to compared to yeah. me not That's ever. Not killing yeah. But there's compared a choice between killing you and not killing you. Which is yeah. right and which is wrong. Okay, let me tell you this. Compared to not killing me, it would be it would be worse. But compared to me not existing at all, existing and being dying away, that's better. You understand what I'm saying? So between two between these two options, me living to age twenty and then being killed in the pain the painless way, and not getting killed until I'm old, obviously I'm gonna choose not getting killed until I'm old. But if the choices are not ever not ever being born at all or being born and living well, to age 20 and being killed in a painless way, I would you, choose the second yeah. option. And you just said, but hang on a second, you just said that it would be wrong to kill you with a bolt gun to the head. I'm not saying, I, I, I'm trying to not use the words wrong. So how would, you said you don't want any play Well, you said you didn't want me to use ethical or moral as well. Yeah. So because, these are loaded uh, words, right? Like I don't d depend. Well, like, what's the, what, is, what is the moral baseline of society? In our society, I have it, I have definitions for mor morality and right and wrong, and I think they are good with definitions because I, I like my definitions because they're not uh, relatives, right? They're not relative, but. The no, reason, no, no. Every the reason, in, the in reason morality, why I everything, don't everything has moral baselines. There's there's baselines for everything okay, in morality. But but, but you otherwise, understand that otherwise people, society is going to go. Civilization wouldn't be here if we didn't have moral baselines. There are many. Okay, so we have diff, many different things. We have laws and morality are different things, right? Yeah, morality absolutely. and some definitions of morality are so shitty because they make them relative. And some definition of morality, in my opinion, are better because it makes them okay. not relative, right? So, but for, for the that's why. I, but 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 because other people use shitty definitions of well, morality, I, I try mm -hmm. not to use them because their understanding right. of morality is so shitty that I don't okay. want them to, right? So, right. so I, I, why is it wrong to kill you? Why is um, it wrong to kill you? Okay, so I gave you two ex two different scenarios, right? In a, if I had the choice between killing me. And not killing me, right? I would choose, uh, and in both of these scenarios, I would be alive for a while. I would choose not killing me. But if so, I had to choose, but the most, this is the important part. But if, if, but if the options were not existing at all, and living and then killing me, obviously I would choose existing and then killing me. And I'm saying, okay. So why me, is it wrong? To, why is it wrong to kill you? See, I, that's that's not what. I'm talking in, I'm talking about consequences and you're talking about principles. No, but I'm asking you the question, why is it wrong to kill you? In which one of these situations? In the first one or the second one? In the world you want. Whatever you want. Why is it wrong to kill you? Okay. In the in the first example, it would be wrong to kill me, right? Because the other alternative would be um, that I would be living longer and enjoying life more. In the second option, um it wouldn't be wrong to kill me because me, you killing me gave me the chance was one of the options to for what me. What was the option? To, Sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit lost. All right. The first, the first so one the, was. So in a, in if my two options was in a world that, um, either I live to age twenty and you kill me, or I live for a very long time and I. No, 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 no. Why is it wrong to kill you now? See, you're not. You're Armin, missing. Why think, is it wrong? To, why is it wrong to kill you? I think you're Armin. missing my point. Let well, no, I'm asking. I'm. I, I know you. I don't know what trying to, point you're trying to make, but I'm just asking you a simple question. Why is it wrong to kill you? I'm. I, my example is trying to make that point clear, but you're not. But you make. You're trying to put me in a binary answer, but I'm not getting. But I'm not refusing to give a binary answer, because I'm a consequentialist. I'm not a principle, right? I'm giving you scenarios. Right. Instead of giving you binary answers, because in because if you live by some consequences, it's not don't do this because it's wrong. It's you examining the consequences of what you're doing and trying to come up with a solution that reduces uh, has the most least amount of suffering. And that's more complicated than coming up with wrong right answers for every single action. That's a, that's easier to do. Easier so there be some. Live. So are you saying there be some context where it'd be right to kill you?
because of the consequences. I'm saying in an example that the only way for me to be in this world was me at some point getting killed. If that was the world that I lived in, then I then I would prefer that over not existing at all. Um, how does I that answer the question, though? I don't really understand. Because I don't live in that world. How is that? How I don't is that... live in that world, but the cow does. A cow exists. No, but no, I, I'm not, we're not talking about the cow that, yet. That, that, we're talking that, about you. That's I want to know saying. why is it wrong to kill you? That's what I'm. That's what I have answered that. But today, I, see, why is it wrong to kill you now? Why can't? Because if I was there in the room with you. Why would it be wrong to because, kill you? Because I don't live in a world that me existing was be, be, because of for the was for the intention of me killing me, right? So I'm, I not, don't, quite, I'm not quite sure I understand I, because, that. Because I don't owe the intention my, of what? Because Sorry? I don't owe my existence to so, to an someone's intention of one day killing me i'm trying to wrap my brain around that and i can't can you explain it a bit more simple in simple terms i'm I saying in really simple terms in more simple terms i'm saying sorry i'm not following can i bring up the cow to make it more clear or you don't want me to bring up the cow? so the, the question is why is it wrong to kill you now because i don't owe my life to people that brought me into this world for the mere intention of eventually killing me. Okay, you're putting it into the context of uh, animal agriculture, yeah? Right. But yeah. I'm, I'm just asking you, you know, like today, why is it wrong to kill you? As because being, as, because as I prefer to live. Because I prefer to live. How about that? Is that good? Okay, sure. And also because my wife prefers if I live. <laughs> so, um, why wouldn't you extend those same principles onto animals? Because, okay, the simple answer. Because they have no appreciation for being alive. And if a human didn't have appreciation for being alive and they didn't want to die, right? would it be wrong to kill them? Um, it, it would yes be. Or no. Okay, so uh, if a person that has no appreciation for life, uh, in fact, in Canada, we have assisted suicide. So no, we right now we made it legal for us to go and actually help people well, that want to die. No, but this, the person doesn't want to commit suicide. Okay. They don't, they, they, they've well, given no indication well, that they well, want well, to well, die. They, depends on the, but they don't have, they, the animals don't have, have any, the of killing that they haven't given any indication the that they want to die either. That, what's the intention of killing that person? Uh, I so, know, for example, make, make, make like, skin we actually we do that actually in a hospital every time when we're pulling the plug on somebody in a vegeta vegetative state, we're actually killing them, aren't we? But we are we're okay with killing them because they're in a vegetative state. Yeah. So when you're pulling the plug on somebody in the hospital, a human, a human being, they're in a vegetative state, so they have no appreciation this for the is... fact of their life. I don't so, know if you okay. can use people in a vegetative state, though, because that's not quite the same as sentient animals, is it? Because they can appreciate their families, they can love, they can feel joy, they can feel right. heartache, so, you know. When, when their children get taken away from them, they feel heartache. They feel, that's exactly you know, like, why we should focus they on... Mourn, they mourn when exactly. other animals in their family die. That's why, I, that's why I advocate for improving their conditions. Not, not just not killing them, just improving their conditions. That's what I advocate for. And... Um, how can we improve their conditions by killing them or not killing them? By by getting by getting them everybody that um, the meat eaters and vegetarians and vegans oh, yeah. on the same side same. and unite unite together against the meat industry's horrible practices because instead of, because if you understand the limitations of your field of humans and you understand how your their psychology works even if you're right. They're not going to give. Most of them are not yeah. going to give up meat. So I'm not sure whether he to... understands the psychology of animals fully. But in any case, I'm just saying that. that I'm, I'm just saying animals. Uh, you're saying that it's uh, the con conditions matter. So what's a better condition, killing an animal or not killing an animal? What's the better condition for them? Well, depending on the situation, killing them or not killing them might not be reducing. For their position. For their position, killing them could be, in a, we could have conditions where killing them is not reducing their well-being because they have no appreciation for Is it being increasing alive. their well-being? Now we're just going around in circles no, because you no, went on to the question no, whether it's... No, just because I'm saying, just because I'm claiming it's not decreasing it doesn't mean I'm claiming that it's increasing it. Right? 
Well, you're not increasing their well-being, are you? No, but I'm not decreasing it either, if they have no appreciation for being alive. Yeah, they don't have any life to be able to, you know, experience well-being, because you've taken that Yeah, but they all, them. But, they all but, but the, 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 one, the, the amount of life they had to enjoy was thanks to the meat industry. So right? You'd, but then we go back to, you know, if you had a child... Yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd think see, it's right, you'd think it's wrong that they should but be born I, into a world where they have an expiration date. Yes see, when no. you bring a child, you're, you're including... Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying myself. I, I, because when you're talking about sympathy, you keep saying yourself. So ask about myself. And I yeah, okay. told you about so myself. You, if I lived in a world that I didn't... If there was two options, a world that I didn't exist and a world that I existed, but, but they killed me after 20 years, I would choose the second world. Yeah, and what about for your child, for your children? See, okay, so for a child, um, it's hard for me to make a decision for something that I can't talk on behalf. So, would you, um, would you? Because it doesn't even exist. Conceive a child knowing that they would have an expiration date. Would you think that would be right, or would you think that'd be wrong? See, I can't to do that. See, I can't talk on behalf of a child. That no, 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 but I'm asking you whether you think that'll be right or wrong. But then again, we're, we're using right and wrong again, and I don't even well, know. Well, okay, I can, oh, ethical, moral, would you think? I don't know what words you want me to use. I mean, but if you don't it, know it, what the it, difference between right and wrong is, then I don't know. I, I know the conversation. I know the difference between right and wrong based, based on my definitions for right and wrong. I just don't know everyone's definition for right or wrong. I'm not saying right everything is right and everything is wrong and there's no oh, difference. Do you think that most My, people think that bearing a child into a world would have an expiration date? Do you think people, they, the, the I don't consensus go, of people I, would think that would be right? I don't ju this is a fallacy of based on popularity, doesn't most people? I don't go. I don't choose what's most right people wrong. want well-being for their children. They don't want a ch yeah. child children to be born into, into a world where what, they know there's going to be an expiration date. Is that right? My definition of right and wrong it has no bearing on people on the number of people who believe in something, right? So the popularity of what's right and wrong doesn't make something right and wrong. At some point, people no, Roman, but Rom Romans but used to go. Watch I'm not just depending on the popularity of that concept. I'm right. saying that the actual act itself is immoral. So, because my, I wouldn't want that done to myself. So my definition of right and wrong has nothing to do whether I want it to myself or not. Has nothing to do with what many people believe or not. My definition of right and wrong is focused on reducing suffering and increasing happiness. And the reason why I don't use myself as a, as an as a test to whether we should be done to animals or not is because my brain is different from a um, a animal's brain. In fact, what I said is that if, if a pig, if we can prove that a pig experienced more suffering with pain, uh, from pain than humans, then I would be even more concerned for the pain that we inflict on pain uh, on pigs than humans, right? So I don't use yeah. myself. And again, as we're going to go around the circles because if you're going to say you reduce, you want to reduce suffering to the pig just purely because they feel pain, and if they don't experience pain, it's okay to kill them. You're going to have to say to you be know, logically consistent that you'd accept that in the human context as well. So when you're talking about so pain, is it, would pain you accept that in the human context? Yes or no? See, when we talk about pain and we're talking about killing, we're talking about two completely different things. If uh, okay, if, no, 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 no. You're saying that you wouldn't accept the death if it was painful. But you'd accept the death is okay and acceptable if it was without pain, if they don't have any sort of yes. um, conception that they exist. Right. So based on and, that, uh, and 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 based on that logic, you would have to agree that the same treatment should be applied to humans with the same cognitive abilities as that animal. Can you give an example? So you're saying that. Somebody who doesn't have a self-awareness concept um, is ethical. To, well, you don't like me to use the word ethical, but it's okay. It's acceptable to kill that person but if you because if they you, don't if have. You tell me what you mean by ethical. Concept. Then you could use it quite often, actually. If you if you if you tell me what you mean by because I, I here's the thing. When I say I don't know what you mean by ethical or right or wrong, doesn't mean I I, I don't have a definition for them. Obviously, I do. But I just okay, want to so make sure we're on the same page. Uh, the same page. All right. So, what's your definition of ethics? Ethical, or ethical 
as it moral ethical good right these are things okay. for me for me i as a good, good, and, good and bad we'll go with good and bad good and so bad keep it, keep good, it, keep it good, yeah. what makes us happy and reduces suffering bad is what increases okay suffering and so we, is killing good or bad Killing something that has no appreciation for self-being is neither good or bad. Okay, so is killing good or bad? Neither good or bad. If it's, if it's, uh, if, for example, if I kill a mosquito, that was neither good. It, well, if it was causing harm, if it wasn't ha causing, if it's causing harm for me or my people around me, that's actually a good thing because the mosquito experienced nothing, okay. right? Killing a human, good or bad? Well, killing, see, an killing an innocent human depends. Well, innocent human, obviously bad. Okay, killing um, an innocent animal, good or bad? Without without pain or with pain? Whatever you want. Without pain. Is what which good, animal? Good is, it, is it self-aware or not? Whatever you want. Well, it depends on the such a scenario, right? So well, is it good or bad? Okay, animal that has no self-awareness, if it's killed in a painless way. It's neither good or bad. So is it good or bad then? Neither good or bad. I just said you. Okay. Well, you can't. You can't really be. It's got to be one or the other because how, there's, con so. there's consequences to every action, right? You're, yeah, you're but, a consequentialist. But exactly. But so that's why. That's but you create a control environment where it was very limited for us to examine the other consequences, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems to me you like you don't answer the question because if you say, if you say yes. It is good then that has sort of connotations well what it seems to you is not the case because i'm ex I'm, I'm being honest about the cause so you give me a very simplistic example if you want me to examine the consequences you have to put it in more context okay what context would you like um like what was the animal what was the condition uh, how did you kill it what did you uh, did you kill it for for sports or for food uh, okay. Right. All those now, now, okay. Many, many so apply, apply any context you want. Okay. And then apply it to humans. Okay. So if you kill animals for for fun, that's wrong. Okay. Killing. If kill, kill, but if you kill humans for fun, that's also wrong. There. Okay. Killing um, humans for food. Killing humans for food is wrong for the people that are doing it because it's emotional trauma for most people to eat another human being. And killing animals for food. Killing animals, food, if it's done in a, in a method that doesn't cause them any pain, and if it's an animal that has no appreciation for self-awareness, um, it's not wrong. Okay, so what's, and uh, killing the, the, the humans who don't have a self-awareness concept, what is a, how do you distinguish between those humans and the animals? So killing what's a human... What is a thing? Killing What's the difference between the two? Killing that make, anything if, that resembles a human, killing anything that resembles a human, Okay, even if it's not human, it's an emotional trauma for humans. More emotional trauma than killing animals. And then that's unfortunate reality. Okay, so the um, rightness or wrongness of the action depends on the emotional trauma for the human. Not the, emotion, not the human, for anything that, could, that has the capacity of experiencing emotional trauma. Okay, so you know, the example, rightness or wrongness example, of, that, of that action depends on the trauma of the perpetrator. Not just the perpetrator, but the people that are experience that witness it, right? But also the perpetrator. For example, do you you know Westworld? No. Westworld. Okay. So the, these are these robots that look like human, and let's say they're not conscious, right? But people go in this world and they just kill and shoot and rape this human-like beings, and this is for me this and what seems to me the message of the show is is that this is killing their morality even though killing their sense of sympathy, even though these, these human-like beings have no sense of, maybe, let's, I, I, that's debatable, maybe have no sense of ex understanding what's happening to them, um, there is still something wrong with you constantly practicing ex something that resembles a human. So f for us as humans, right, Unfortunately, even for animals, just like other animals, other animals don't get them. So, for example, most animals get more emotional trauma from seeing their species, uh, right, um, being killed than they see other species being killed. And so, it's, so it's about self-interest then? Nope, nope. This is not about. This is not about us being superior to them. 
No, no, I'm saying, saying it's about self-interest because... It's not self-interest. It's anything, it's, that, it's, about anything that could experience trauma or suffering. Any, it's about the capacity of experiencing trauma, right? So I think, okay, so if you put human meat in front of me, right, and it's uh, Hannibal came to my house and put human f meat in front of me, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a weirdo. And I, if that person was already dead, I might, and me eating it is, is not going to kill anybody. I might actually try it, okay? But I'm a weirdo. But most people will go through psychological trauma knowing that they just ate an, another human being, okay? Um, and because most humans are like it's, that... Yeah, but it's because it's in group preference, that's why. Yeah, but there's, no, there's no rational reason for it. Other than in group preference, it's the same yeah, as you know. Psychological, but but there's no rational reason for for a gorilla being more concerned yeah. for gorillas than deers. Yeah, it's just bias. That's all it is. It's just bias. Yeah, but gorilla. But I'm just saying this bias is an emotional thing that is hardwired in our brain that we can't get rid of. That's yeah. not something you could shake. So up why shouldn't we? It. Why should we progress to have more empathy for animals? I'm 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 not talking about caring about humans because they they are they have more they they feel more trauma. I'm just saying that, for example, if you for, forget humans, let's look at a gorilla, right? If, if there was two situations of killing a gorilla in front of a gorilla or killing a deer in front of a gorilla, right? If I had only these two choices, I would go with killing a deer in front of another gorilla because that other gorilla will get less psychological trauma from seeing a deer being killed than seeing another fellow gorilla being killed. And because yeah, but again, that's just that's just in group preference. That's just in group psychology. Yeah, that's preference. It's got nothing to do that's, with that's preference for less I'm, trauma. Preference for less trauma. Anyways, I think I, I think this let's let's pick this up again. How about that? You know, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I just need to quickly go to Lou. Um, okay. I'll let my boyfriend take over for a minute. Would that be right? Well, actually, can we stop? This? Can you just give me one message for everybody to, to for them to consider, and then we could pick this up another time because I also have to go. Like, can you give like okay. one, tell okay, audience well, why I'm stupid? Yeah, tell the audience why I'm stupid and why I'm being wrong. No, no. I, I, I mean, I'm not. I never said you were stupid. Um, but we're all stupid about some things. I might be being stupid yeah, about this. I, my position is like, if you can't differentiate between an animal and a human in a meaningful way, i.e., distinguish, like, give a trait or an example or a difference between a human and animal that would um, say if that difference was only present in humans and not the animal, okay. would you know cause you to um, treat them differently? If you if you can't distinguish between them in a, in a meaningful way, then I don't see how you could justify um, mistreating, well, killing animals for food. Okay. Needlessly. And can you tell because the audience? If you where... wouldn't want the same. Okay, yeah. Uh, and can you tell the audience where they could come see, find your YouTube channel and if they, like, if they want to get more of your content and more of your arguments to come and find yeah, sure. you and I mean, follow you? Yeah, I, I mean, if you, if you like these kind of debates, kind of style things, I do them all the time. Um, I do, uh, yeah, my channel's called Banana Warrior Princess. Um, it's like Xena Warrior Princess, but banana is the vegan bit. Um, and I do sort of street activism, street epistemology, I call it. Um, okay. Can so you send me a link to your YouTube with... channel so I can link uh, link it up in the description so people yeah, can Yeah, I definitely will, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. And Twitter as well or just YouTube? Um, Twitter is B-Dub Princess or just search Banana Warrior Princess. Facebook, okay. Instagram, everything really. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'll link. Uh, you you send me the link to all of them, and I'll just link it in the description to everybody that wants to come okay. and hear more of you. Yeah. Okay. And if you're okay, would I be okay to upload this onto my channel too? Yeah. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Go ahead. It's an interesting conversation. Yeah. All right. All right. We, I think we should talk again. Definitely. Yeah. I think so too. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much for talking to me. All right. You take care. Bye. Hi.